Okay, so apparently I was just streaming there, but like it wasn't live. So if you guys like hear me like talking to something, then I, I don't know. This is this is, my, this is my first time streaming solo, so uh, just getting set up going. But anyways, hey guys, so how's everyone doing today? Uh, so I don't know if you heard at the beginning of the stream or if it was cut off or something, but for today's stream, I'm gonna be uh, streaming solo. No uh, no photos chaos here today, just me. So yeah, it's my. Uh, like I said, it's my first time streaming solo in a very long time. I do have my own uh, streaming setup now. But, yeah, so, like I said, for today's stream, we got a pretty uh, special stream going on today. And we're going to be trying to revive the Halo Reach demo. The um, A year ago, almost a year ago, I did a video about uh, the lost and forgotten Halo Reach demo. And, you know, basically the demo's dead. And a lot of people don't even remember it even existed. Actually, a lot of people didn't even know it existed, but Halo Reach did still have a demo, as you can see here, and it still works. It's only for Xbox 360, but it still works, and if you remember my video, it does still have a working multiplayer to it. So, of course, nobody plays it anymore, but that's what we're going to be trying for today. <laughs> um, I did give people a heads up on YouTube and a kind of a late heads up on Twitter, hoping to uh, get other people who still have 360 set up to... Um, to uh, do this, but let me uh, oh yeah, so let me turn my volume down, apparently, it's way too loud, but yeah, so let's get this started. Alright, so this demo has, you know, the campaign, just a single mission for campaign, and that mission is Lana the Solace, but we're not going to be doing the campaign tonight. Unless nobody else has a demo, <laughs> then maybe I'll just do campaign for a little bit. But we're going to be focusing on matchmaking today. And I'll let people um, wait until... I'll give you a few minutes until they get on. And then we'll start searching matchmaking. And hopefully enough people have downloaded this beforehand that if we all search together, we'll actually get a match. So, yeah. I see some people saying there's issues with my mic. Alright, let me know if that's better. This is uh, it's my new setup, so I don't know if um, I don't know if it's uh, I don't have all the settings ironed out yet, so let me know. And I'm not using this mic, I actually have a second mic here. My Blue Yeti, as you can kind of see there. That's what I'm using. But if this is an issue, I'll use, I'll use this mic, but I, apparently people tell me this mic here isn't uh, the best quality, so... It shouldn't be my headset mic. Uh, Pretty sure it's not. Pretty sure it's not Blue Yeti. I just set the volume turned down too low. I thought somebody said it was like way too loud. I mean, the mic volume's all the way at max now. So let me know if that's an improvement or not. All right, I lowered the game volume too, so hopefully that's good. Um, yeah, so, wow, we actually got quite a few people, so, I don't know how many people got the, um, the advanced notice, but, uh, I'm gonna try to start searching soon, and, yeah, so, there's only, uh, there's only one multiplayer playlist, it's, uh, either 2v2 or 4v4, depending on how many people are there, it's also firefight, but again, I don't need enough people for that. But let's try. Let's try searching now. I. No, my mic's definitely not turned around. Like, here it is. So, this is the front. See where the light is? And this 
and now this is the back. So it should be fine. I don't know why it's not picking it up. It's the same settings I use for all my videos I've been doing recently. <laughs> But, yeah, so we're going to stream now, so, I'm mean, going to try to searching now, so hopefully, you know, people will get matched. What, what exactly is the issue with my uh, mic right now? I can't tell it. Like, people are saying it's muffled, but, um, oh, wow, we're actually getting, we actually got a couple matches. Here, let me try switching to my headset mic, because apparently it's, um, apparently it's, my blue yeti's having issues so uh how do i do that okay um i'm now using this mic is that any better <laughs> Okay, we, got, we actually got a 2v2 going. I'm voting Slayer though. I'm not used to Headhunter anymore, I haven't played that forever. Alright, I guess I'll use this mic then. I'll figure out my Blue Yeti another time. It's been... It's been on a fritz lately. Yeah, I don't know, like, when I play, like, online games, like, in Xbox Party Chat, everyone tells me this mic is significantly worse than my Blue Yeti, but, I don't know, I, I don't even know, like, what it really sounds like, so, Slayer. I guess, uh, I'll take all of your words for it. Oh, God, this 30 FPS. I don't know if you guys can see that, but, that 30 FPS is so, it's so bad. Game the lead. I feel like I can see the frames. <laughs> but j just imagine, like, um, tomorrow, when, uh, whoever, like, manages the servers at 343, three, when they, like, go in, they see, like, they see, like, a spike on, like, a, on, like, a game that they forgot about. <laughs> They're like, wait, why is there, like, a sudden spike on, on this thing? That would suck though, like if they see the spike and they're like, oh crap, I forgot to shut off the servers five years ago or something. Then, then we would have, it would have been our fault that we got this game shut down, but I don't think they will. But, you know, in the meantime, we'll be going, we'll be going at this for a little bit. So if anybody else wants to join in, the, uh, the matchmaking goes up to, uh, eight players, so... If you guys still have a working 360 with Xbox Live, then you still have time to get it set up and download all the updates and Halo and the Halo Reach demo. It's actually not too big of a demo. Oh, hey Mickey, thanks for the uh, thanks for the super chat. And um, yeah, it is nostalgic, but. <laughs> Unfortunately, that 30 frames flavor does leave a bad aftertaste. <laughs> but you know, that's the thing, like, I don't know about you guys, but like way back, um, when MCC first came out and they said like Halo 3 and all the other games are getting upgraded to uh, 60 FPS, I was actually, I was actually kind of skeptical about that because at the time I thought that 30 FPS was fine for Halo 3. And when I first played Halo 3 on MCC, it felt sped up to me. <laughs> And I didn't, I didn't really like it at first, but that's now that I'm used to 60 FPS and higher on PC, I can, I can't really go back to 30 FPS. It's just blah. <laughs> Lost the lead. Oh, by the way, people have been asking for the return of puns. The, uh, the other day, I heard, like, a really awesome pun, like, a really amazing pun that I just had to, like, share with you guys. So, as soon as I finish this little skirmish here, uh. Okay, so, here's the pun real quick. What do you get when you cross a cat and an owl? A meow. 
I, I don't know. When I, when I heard that pun, I just thought it was like terrific. <laughs> so I had to share it with you all. So hopefully you guys like that pun too. <laughs> Cause you know, get it? A cat, owl, meow. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> also, Maddie Cat two for seven. Uh, big thanks there. Did you actually uh, did you actually play the Halo Reach demo back in the day? Because I, I actually did not even know it existed until fairly recently as well. Back in the day, I I got like Halo Reach on the first day, so I I guess I, I never had any reason to even look into the demo. But it's a uh, it's actually pretty cool. Like this is one of the few games out there that actually have demos that are this fully featured. Like you actually have full on matchmaking and campaign and firefight. And there's like no time limits either. I know like other games like Crackdown, you have it, the demos like fully featured. It's even co-op, but you have like a I think it was like either half hour or one hour time limit on crack on the Crackdown demo, which actually me and my friend had a lot of fun with back in the day, but. It was still limited, and I, I know other games have like time limited demos as well, but not not this game. Bungie actually like went all out on the Halo Reach demo. It's it, it's like fully it's a fully playable Halo game really, minus custom games and Forge. But I feel like people could like mod this game to bring back Forge and custom games if they really wanted to. Yeah, so back then, um, I, I didn't really get any of the limited editions. I didn't start getting limited editions until um, until Halo 4, actually. Because, <laughs> yeah, cause back then I just couldn't. Uh, with Halo Reach, I did get the edition that came with like the Elite Armor and the Recon Helmet, but I don't remember if it was like, a pre-order edition or just a uh, limited edition. But, yeah, Halo, Halo 3... I really wish I got the uh, Legendary Edition back in the day. Also, yeah, Mickey, I do remember the uh, Halo CE demo on both Xbox and PC. But the, the Xbox demo, I didn't know that existed until like earlier this year. Um, but I did play the Halo PC demo a lot back in the day. But the thing I remember most about the Halo PC demo is that half of the lobbies I went into, uh, people were playing on like dial-up connections and had like pings like in the thousands, and it was so bad. That was, yeah, that was back when dial-up was still a thing. <laughs> kind of still is today in some places, but um, I don't know. It's, yeah, it was pretty bad back then. Like, I, I guess it was somewhat playable, but it, it's just, it was a mess. We're, we're pretty spoiled these days by like fiber optic internet and low pings. Also, I think someone like asked me like I don't I don't know if it was in the chat here or um, in my announcement earlier, but someone did ask me like what the differences are between the Halo Reach demo and the final game, like the full game. Um, Five minutes I think remaining. the main differences are that um, well actually I think the biggest difference is that it's for gameplay wise it's it's pre TU Halo Reach. There's no title update for this, so. I don't remember all the differences with uh, TU, um, but I know like one of them is that you can uh, you can actually sword block with like without a sword, so you could just you know you, you can even sword block with, like a plasma pistol and that would actually work. But I was taking on the title update. I think a few other changes in TU was like something to do with like bloom and bleed through effects, but I, I don't know the exact details of that. If somebody wants to explain TU in the chat, feel free to. Also, uh, so this is 
Um, this is like the first in like a series of live streams I plan on doing in the future. So, like, this is the first game we're reviving. But I know there's plenty of other games out there that have dead populations. So, like, if there's any other games out there that you, uh, preferably Xbox games. Uh, like, I guess I could do, like, PC games as well. But uh, as for, like, other games, like PlayStation and stuff like that, I can't. I mean, I, I might be able to, but let's start with the Xbox games first. But if there's any other dead games out there, uh, just, you know, feel free to discuss it. And then maybe, like, one of them I'll do for the next, next stream. Yeah, uh, Tiger, I, I thought TU was like, I thought the full game uses like almost all TU. Because like, at least on MCC, I don't, MCC is all TU now in matchmaking, I'm pretty sure. It, um, I, like I, I've never seen, like, I haven't had like a game yet where like somebody was able to like sword block me without another sword. Also, uh, Mikko Brown, I play, I do mostly play on Xbox, but yeah, like, like, like you said, when I mod, I have to do it on PC, because you can't mod stuff on Xbox, Xbox One at least. And Halo Mockmaker, we'll, we'll be streaming for quite a bit probably, this is just the first game, so you should have plenty of time to download the demo. The demo is not too big, it's like a couple hundred megabytes, I think, so it's not that bad. It's it's no modern warfare warzone where it's like almost 200 gigabytes now, so don't worry. You should you should have plenty of time to download and join us. Actually, yeah, uh, Kyle Slee, that's. Destiny 1 Crucible, that's that's one of the things I've been uh, considering, because recently I got back into Destiny on 360, and there were some quests I had and challenges, well, not challenges, but like um, bounties that I wanted to do that involved Crucible, but I, I could not get it. I could sometimes get like a match in like free-for-all at certain hours, but th that's it. I've never been able to get like a match outside of free-for-all, and for the most part, like most of the playlists are dead on Destiny 1 Crucible. But if uh, that could, yeah, that could be something we revive in a future stream. One minute remaining. You guys are pretty good. Thirty seconds remaining. Oh, the demo is one point seven four gigabytes. Oh, okay, I, I, was, I was totally off. I, th I thought it was like a couple hundred megabytes, but I must have been thinking about different desk, uh, a different download. And yeah, uh, Nathaniel. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I've been on remaining. Destiny recently. <laughs> I've been, I've, see, I got Destiny one on three sixty back in like two thousand fourteen when it first came out, but. Like, I finished the base game, but I, I didn't have anyone to play it with, and once I finished the base game, I, I, I kind of got bored of it and never went back to it. So, recently, it was actually my friend Photos Chaos that's been, like, trying to convince me for so long to get back into Destiny, so I finally did. But I wanted to go back on 360 and finish that game first, like, all the DLCs and stuff. So, that's why I've been on it a lot recently. Much to do. And no, Matt Myers, I'm on Xbox 360. The Halo Reach demo is only for 360. But, uh, oh, and let's see, Halo, Mockmaker. No, uh, we're probably probably not going to switch to regular 360 Halo Reach later. Uh, just sticking to the demo for tonight. But don't worry, what, what, me and Chaos, me and Photos Chaos will do more like regular game nights in the future. 
So keep an eye out for those. Yeah, uh, Champ one zero zero four. I've I've actually wondered that. Like, I do. I did transfer this over to my mod of three sixty. Oh wow, we've almost got a full lobby. We just need one more player. Come on, one more player. <laughs> but uh, so to continue that, I I've been wondering like if I could just move this to the three sixty and like add in like all the maps and stuff and restore restore like the demo to like a full game, or or, or vice versa. But I haven't tried that yet. I I've. I think someone once told me like it might be possible, but I I'm not sure. I'll definitely um I can definitely like try it soon. Yeah, we got a full lobby. Okay, it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, let's do objective. Vote crazy. Yeah, yeah. Vote crazy king. No, no, crazy king. <laughs> I think the only map is a uh, powerhouse, by the way. But yeah. When I did that video like a year ago, um, actually that's a funny thing. Like I, in that video, I did say like we were gonna do this stream like within like a month or a few weeks. That was like a year ago. I, I really put it off until now. And the reason why is because like, at the time I, I didn't really have a good streaming setup. And well, King of the I, I guess my, my setup now is still pretty basic as you guys remember at the beginning of the stream. But yeah, now it's possible and hopefully soon we can do a lot more dead games. Kill control. Um, Lost the lead. Oh, wow. Kill control. Oh, another dead. A couple dead games I know of as well are like the the old Call of Duty games, like um, COD 2 and COD 3. I, I tried searching like COD 2 the other day. That game is like totally dead. There's like. And that game even supports other 32 players as well. Like, I actually never even knew that. Like, the fact that like the old Call of Duty games supported 32 players before the next gen versions did it was actually pretty crazy. And I never played the 32 player games back then. I, I don't even know like what that would have been like. Oh, and I think it's not just the 360 version. I think the original Xbox versions also supported a 32 player. Uh, matchmaking <laughs> on like the old Call of Duty games which is pretty crazy because like the Xbox One versions, PS4 versions, they didn't support 32 players until like quite recently. Modern Warfare I think was the first one. And Mikko Brown, my favorite Halo game is uh, easily Halo 3, hands down. Like, hands down. <laughs> Gotta literally do it. I guess, I guess it's kind of a cliche to say Halo 3 is your favorite, but it really is my favorite. No! <laughs> Not a host migration. Who quit? Oh, nobody quit. Dude, I, I think like... I think like 343 like left on like one single like server like on like somebody's phone. <laughs> and like the fact that we have a full lobby of uh, six people or, or eight people going on here. It's like, it's like overloading their phone or something, their phone server. Heal control. He'll move. He'll control. He'll contested. Kill 
Yo, wait, cool. is this like a free for all? Oh, this is. Oh, that's a Team Crazy King. This is free for all. I just noticed that. I wasn't like paying attention this whole time. I don't ever remember there being like a free for all Crazy King. But then again, I haven't played 360 Reach for a while. I don't know, does anybody remember this playlist actually being. Or this, this game mode being in any playlist on normal Reach? I, I guess it would have been in a free for all playlist. Because like a lot, a lot of these playlists didn't make it to a Halo MCC. Because a lot of them like either were popular or like they they, they don't quite fit in the MCC anymore. Heal control. Heal contested. Heal move. Heal control. Yeah, I guess it is in Rumble Pit. I just I just don't remember ever playing it before in Rumble Pit on Reach. Most of the time it was like Slayer or Oddball in Rumble Pit. Heal control. Heal move. Heal control. Yo, I'm usually like really good at objective games, but Heal you guys control. are like really good at this actually. <laughs> oh, I guess I'm better at team objective games because like usually, um, and like I know like Photos Gas really hates when I do this, but like usually like my teammates get all the kills while I just throw myself into the Heal objective control. and get points. And that, that that's actually really a good team strategy. Me and my buddies, but I guess in free for all, Heal just throwing control. myself in the objective doesn't really work. Heal move. Five minutes remaining. Heal control. Heal control. Uh, Cranky Hank, my Heal favorite control. Halo Easter egg would be um. Heal control. That's a that's a good question actually. I guess. I guess the Scarab Gun in Halo 2, because the Scarab Gun is just so, it's just awesome. It's like my favorite weapon in all of Halo. But aside from the Scarab Gun, hmm. Yeah, I see a couple of people mention the Halo 3 Monkeys. That's, that is a pretty uh, cool Easter egg, pretty funny Easter egg too. But, hmm. Yeah, control. Scarab Gun. We'll go with Scarab Gun. <laughs> but Halo 3, Hal all Heal the Halo games move. do have a lot of really cool Easter eggs. Because like another cool one is is actually in Reach Heal itself, control. the one where you could actually fly a Phantom and Pelican. That was actually really fun to do. Um, yeah. What is my favorite mystery video? Heal hmm. control. So Halo has just been so many like Halo mysteries, conspiracy theories way back in the day. The I was actually thinking about doing a video about that in like the near future, just going over all the mysteries and like conspiracy theories and like the old Halo games back in the day. Like I remember like Ghost of Halo, that was a big one forever. And aside from Ghost of Halo, the, the Tri Gates in Halo 2. Dude, that was like, that was like one of the biggest things forever as well. People like, there are so many videos on YouTube like trying to like tackle that mystery. And like, the, all those videos were like so 2004, 2005 YouTube. Cause like, they, they, they all like try to like talk about the mystery and like try to like explore it and stuff and do experiments. And they were all set to like that song Requiem for a Dream. <laughs> if you guys remember that. Cause, Every like mystery video in like 2005, 2006, they all use Requiem for a Dream. This is like before 009 sound system for um on YouTube. It was all Requiem for a Dream back then. Heal control. Heal control. Heal Actually, for my Heal April Fool's video uh, in 2021, I don't want to like. Well, I wanted to keep it like a secret until then, but I figured like I could like put it out there and like people can like chime Heal in on move. it, make suggestions. But for like the next April Fool's video, I was thinking of like just doing like it wouldn't really be like a prank or anything, but 
It would just be like a video, like entirely filmed, like it was like as if it was a YouTube video from 2005. Like I would do like some kind of tutorial for like some mystery in Halo. It would be set to like Requiem for a Dream, and then instead of me narrating it, it would I'd be like I had I'd have no pad on the screen, and, like typing out everything with bad spelling. And then uh, oh, and the whole thing would be like recorded with Hypercam too. Uh, <laughs> I think that'd be like a pretty funny video to make. Uh, Thief of Baghdad. I don't think I've played that version of CE yet. Wasn't that like the most recent one that, that like people found? One minute remaining. If so, like I, I, I haven't had the chance to check it out yet. Oh yeah, as uh, A11 said, an another popular song for like YouTube videos back then was like "Let the Bodies Hit the Floor." That was in like every montage as well. Oh, actually, actually, speaking of montages, like in addition to that, there was also um, oh, what's that other song? Oh, "Crawling" by Linkin Park. People, um, I heard that like in every video. That or "Blow Me Away." "Blow Me Away" was also used in like every Halo montage video. Uh, Mickey, like, I know, like, I don't know, like, he, I don't know, like it is, is phone recorded videos, like, more retro than Hypercam 2? I feel like Hypercam 2 is, like, the, the, like, retro, um, YouTube video back then. Hmm, yeah, Remember the Name by, uh, Fort Minor. Actually, I love that song, actually. I still listen to that every now and then. But, yeah. I'm pretty sure, like, Hypercam, going back to that, I'm pretty sure Hypercam 2 is more retro. Hey, uh, Beetle Goose. Uh, I hope I pronounced that right. <laughs> but, um, yeah, the, the e Halo 2 E3 demo, like, ever since they showed it, I've, I would have loved to, like, get my hands on that and, like, just mess around with it. There's so much exploring to do with that. Like, I'm, I remember during the stream, and, like, they even took suggestions for how to explore it. They, they, they did my suggestions a couple of times. It was actually pretty cool, and the results were pretty interesting. Like what happened, but they're uh, they didn't they didn't do enough, and they never went back to it. And I, I was hoping like they would ever they would release it someday, but I don't think that's gonna ever happen. And yeah, it, it'll be great they released it. And yeah, yeah, Cygnus Diamond gets it. <laughs> Unregistered Hypercam too. I, I think that's that's probably more OG than like phone videos. Because like back back in like 2005. Did many people have like camera phones back then? I I think like camera phones were still kind of really niche back then. That was that was before people could actually like start recording with camera phones. Yeah, yeah, A11's right. I remember during the the live stream of the um, E3 demo, um, Sketch I think he was the one playing it. He or somebody else, but. One of the three, th 343 employees, they said like the Halo 2 E3 demo is like really unstable and it could crash, and like there's a good chance like if you do anything off script in a demo, it will, it'll like mess it up. But th the demo is actually pretty interesting. Like like they they totally went off script in it. They they try to mess around, they try to like betray teammates, and they try to like get out of the map even. But like the the, the demo actually like handled all that pretty well. In fact, like if you stray too far from like the the demo area, this or the scripted area, it would actually teleport you back in. I was actually pretty impressed that the demo did that instead of crashing. I don't think they even got it to crash once at all. <sighs> uh, yeah, Sunset Assassin. Like back in 2005, I think I was still on a flip phone back then. I, it may or may not have had a camera on it. I don't remember. My first flip camera phone wasn't until like. I don't know, it must have been like in middle school when I first got my first camera phone. But um, it, it was like, it wasn't even a one megapixel camera. It was like a quarter megapixel camera on that flip phone. But yeah, those were the days. 
Ooh, need one more player for a full lobby again. It's pretty interesting that the game still gives you XP at the end, but the XP doesn't go anywhere. Like, it doesn't... It says, like, XP given, but it doesn't count for anything. Uh, I can't customize my armor. Speaking of Halo Reach armors, I'm pretty psyched that GRD's coming to MCC. That, that used to be, like, such a... Like, almost like a meme back then. About, like, the... It's like a mythical GRD armor. And now it's actually happening. Which is pretty awesome. And Champ1004. No, it's it's not possible to use the Halo Reach beta files on MCC PC. Not not directly, at least. It, it would take, like, a lot of conversions and stuff. Oh, let's do Headhunter. I haven't done that yet. Let's try to get through, like, all the game types at least once. Come on, headhunter. Yes, there we go. <laughs> oh, is there only seven players? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, yeah, there's only seven players. Huh. Well, I, I guess that works for like a um, free for all, but yeah, uh, Isaiah, if you can figure it out, then yeah, it'd be great if we can get eight players next. Do we literally just have like eight people searching and like this is like it's like the perfect amount? <laughs> Headhunter. Yeah, I haven't played Headhunter forever. Is there even a Headhunter playlist anymore on MCC? I haven't checked recently. Like all the objective like I do search objective games a lot on Halo Reach, but I never get Headhunter or anything. Destination move. Skull taken. Headhunter. Skull scored. Game the lead. Like I, I know MCC has the Headhunter game type, but I just is it like in any rotational playlist at all on in matchmaking? Oh yeah, and uh, Franklin, I I don't know. I, I personally just never use the jetpack. I'm not. I guess you could say I'm not really good at the jetpack or handling it. So I, I just prefer sprint. Which is ironic, cause like I used to be like part of like the crowd that like thought that sprint that halo shouldn't have sprint but you know after like i guess like now that i've got, gotten used to a little bit I, I i'm like it doesn't really matter to me either way like whether sprint isn't halo or not it's it's there it's not there it's it doesn't really make much of a difference for me but i will say that like i do prefer sprint as like as how it is in Halo 4 and Halo 5. Like, I don't, I prefer Sprint to not be an armor ability. I I, I prefer Sprint to be like an always there ability. At, at, you know, at the most. Skull taken. Destination. Oh, okay. I, I just saw I just saw your message, Jason. All right, so th that means we do have quite a few people searching then. Hopefully, like next game we can get like a full eight-player lobby. Skull taken. Skull taken. Yeah, okay, so two people in your lobby. So that, sh that should definitely be enough for a um, eight-player game. I thought there were team games on a demo, but I, I guess I was wrong. I guess it's all Rumble Pit. Like, it doesn't explicitly say Rumble Pit, but it's, uh... That's... What it, I'm pretty sure that, that's how... That's the equivalent of it. Oh, someone's close to a Skull and Ninjaro. Oh, he scored it all. <laughs> Come on. Destination. Move. 
Yeah, actually, that, that'd be pretty cool. Like, if I, uh, if we could get like official like uh, commentary, or, like from statement from three for three about like if we had any impact on the servers by doing this, because like I know for a fact that like nobody plays this game anymore. Like the demo, it's it's totally dead. No, no. All right, but uh, yeah, so I, I'm, I know like for a fact that nobody plays this anymore. So like we, we are literally like the only people playing this in the whole entire world. And it would be pretty cool if, if like 343 can like show us like, um, the, the, like the spike that we made. <laughs> Skull taken. Uh, yeah, Wazow. Uh, there's unfortunately no invasion in the demo, but there is, um, there is firefight up to four players. Skull scored. Hey, Thief Bagdag. Uh, thanks for that. And, yeah, um, I'll definitely look into that. I, I need to see if I still have it or not, but if I do, I can definitely look into it, poke around, and see if there's anything, uh, interesting I come across. Skull taken. But I'm sure Vadim did a pretty good job uh, covering uh, all the details, but I'll see if there's anything else in there. Oh, wow, did you guys just see that lag? <laughs> Actually, yeah, I, I forgot. Not only is, is this like 30 FPS, like pre-MCC, but like because it's pre-MCC, it's also like all peer-to-peer uh, -peer matchmaking connection for multiplayer. There's no dedicated servers. We're all like totally spoiled by dedicated servers on MCC. Skull taken. Skull taken. Uh, oh, I can't. I can't even pronounce that, your move. your username. But I, I remember like there's an article about how like Elon Musk pronounces it. But no, the, the answer to your question, there's uh, there's no. These aren't bots. This is actual matchmaking. But speaking of bots, I've always wished Halo would have bots for like multiplayer. It's so, like. Skull if like people don't want to feel like searching matchmaking or they just want to practice on bots in multiplayer that would be really cool to have I guess you could say like Halo 5 Warzone firefight is kind of this or even firefight in general is kind of like that but it, it's not quite the same and I I guess I, I doubt Halo Infinite's gonna have this but I would like to see um, a future Halo game get like bots in multiplayer Yeah, I have seen mods like add bots, but I just mean like in an official capacity, because like, you know, like you can only do this on PC then, and you'd have to turn like anti cheat off and stuff like that. It would be cool if like you know like officially like on Xbox and stuff like that, you could have um, like actual bot support in multiplayer, because like a lot of other games do have bots. Like pretty much all the Call of Duty games have it now. I don't know if Modern Warfare does, but. I know like Black Ops 3 had bots, Infinite Warfare had bots, they could play locally, offline, stuff like that. And it's, you know, it's pretty fun actually, it's a pretty cool feature. And hey, uh, Ginger Hendrix, thanks for her. thanks for the super chat. Um, yeah, it's been fun playing Destiny, <laughs> and hopefully like we can get to the raid soon. And, and if you guys uh, saw my recent posts on YouTube. We are we are trying to do um, the King's Fall raid on Xbox 360. Right now, I'm just working to get my like my light level and gear up to the point I'm ready. Move. But we're almost there. So wish us luck for the raid. <laughs> ah. 
And yeah, leaker bots would be really cool for customs. That, that's exactly like what I had in mind. Like it doesn't have to be bots in, in matchmaking. Although actually, bots in matchmaking wouldn't be such a bad idea either. But like only if like I know some games do this. I don't remember which game does it. I think it was Titanfall or something. But uh, if there's not enough teammates for you, or maybe it was Black Ops 3 that did it. I'm not sure. But if you don't have enough teammates in like matchmaking, then the game automatically fills your squad up with bots, and so that you get a full lobby. And then if game someone joins, over. they replace the bot, and or if someone quits, then the bot takes over for them. That would actually be really cool in Halo matchmaking, because I can't I can't tell you how many times like I've been in the game and suddenly like half my team quits or lags out, and well you know at that point it kind of sucks. But if they can replace your teammates with bots, that's better than nothing actually, and that actually be really cool. All right, let's see if we can get like a full A player lobby this time. <clears throat> Uh, A11, there actually are some maps in Halo that I think could work for 32 players. Like, um, Avalanche, or actually the, the CE version of Avalanche. That probably could support 32 players and be okay. Uh, Sandtrap could probably do 32 players. Maybe Sandbox, if you, like, use all three layers. But, and yeah, Beetlejuice, it, it, bots and matchmaking would, would fix it, because... Quitting is such a big issue on Halo, and when people quit, it, it, it totally ruins the game for the person's team that starts quitting. I, I know like 343 made it so like you can you can quit like halfway through, and um, uh, you, you could quit if ha if half your lobby like quit, then you could quit too without without penalty. But still, that's it's I, I'd rather not quit at all, especially if I'm going for challenges on MCC. So. It would be great if we could get like bot teammates to fill in. Oh, <laughs> can you imagine like MW2 like Rust with like 64 players <laughs> or like 32 players even? Oh, we only got four players this time. Where'd everybody go? Oh no, <laughs> I, the full. <laughs> I'm the odd lobby out. <laughs> I guess we'll just do Slayer then. <laughs> Yo, Isaiah, you guys stole my lobby. <laughs> they, I wanted the eight-player lobby, but they they got it. But now I'm I have a three-player lobby here. Uh, that's all right. <laughs> that's pretty funny. <laughs> I got I got kicked out of the full lobby. <laughs> yeah, I know a lot of people are saying full lobby, but. It, I'm not in it, so I can't I can't stream that. We we had a four player lobby, but then somebody quit, so it's just down to three players now. Slayer. Oh uh, yeah, Wolf Leader. I I've been in that uh, scenario too, like one v eight, and actually no, I yeah one v eight, and it it's not fun. It's not fun for either side because like if you're the one v eight, you're gonna get like destroyed unless you're like some like pro, like mid blitz level MLG player. But it's uh yeah, and then, and then if you're if you're on the eight v one side, it's also not fun because that makes the game drag out so long. It goes so slow, and it really would be better like for that one person left to just quit. But some people don't really, you know, some people don't want to, especially if they're going for challenges. It's it's just you know not worth it sometimes. But yeah. That's why, all the more reason why bot teammates in Halo would be a really good thing. I, I know Halo could definitely support it, because like, ever since Halo 4, they they'd added Spartan AIs in campaign and fire, well not fire, actually yeah, I think Firefight had Spartan, I don't remember like which Halo game had Spartan AIs and, I th maybe it was Halo 5, but. It's definitely doable, especially in the newer games. So I wish like Halo Infinite would get that too. No, like A11, like the, the, that one person left, they can quit without getting banned. the The official like thing from 343 is that if you're if you're t half your team quit, so like if you're down to four players on your team and then like an 8v8, 
you you can quit without getting a, a matchmaking ban. Now, now the first four that quit, they'll get like a match a ban penalty, but you won't. But of course, if you quit, you also don't get the XP from challenges and stuff. So, I guess there's a slight penalty there, but it's not it's not like you get like timed out or anything. Uh, yeah, Alex, in the 2v2, um, I think, like, the first person that quits in the 2v2 gets the penalty, and then, you know, the last person that quits on your, well, yeah, so if you quit after your teammate quits, you don't get a penalty, because that, that's half your team that quit <laughs> when one person quits. I'm actually pretty impressed that we got enough people for like two lobbies, concurrent lobbies. Although my lobby is a lot smaller than the other one. But one full lobby and like one one playable lobby. That's definitely gonna like put a spike on 343's radar, I hope, for whoever manages the servers. Although I'm really curious, like I doubt anybody knows this for sure, except for 343 themselves, but I've always wondered if the Halo Reach demo, the servers for it. I always wonder if it shares the servers with the full Halo Reach game. Like if they're on the same servers, or if this game actually has its own like separate servers that it uses. I mean like it's not dedicated servers, but you still need like, it still needs like the, you know, uh, s certain servers to like let you even play like matchmaking in the first place. I'm pretty sure. Or may maybe I have like PVP wrong. Or Halo Reach. Maybe I have the wrong idea in general. Maybe this game doesn't actually need servers at all. Because it is peer to peer, but I know like it still needs something on the back end. I'm pretty sure. And uh, Lan Hikari. The reason why we're doing the Halo Reach demo is because, uh, like, like I said, I'm, I'm doing a new series of live streams where we, where we revive dead games. And the full Halo Reach game on 360, it's not its not really dead. It's still got like good populations in certain playlists. Now maybe in the future when we run out of games that are totally dead, we can, we can revive dead playlists on certain games. So like on Halo 3, we can, we can revive BTB. Because um, I'm pretty sure nobody, you, can, you can't get a match in BTB anymore on Halo 3. And probably same with Halo Reach on 360. I'm not sure, but... Yeah, in the future we can definitely revive individual playlists, but for now, we're looking to revive uh, full games or demos. Actually, uh, speaking of like other dead games, does anyone happen to have like Titanfall for the Xbox 360? I've always wondered if that game is dead or not. I feel like Titanfall 360 should be pretty dead, if not totally dead, because. There is an Xbox One version now, and Titanfall 2 is out, and even Titanfall 2 itself, um, you can't really get like a good match anymore in certain playlists. So I imagine like Titanfall for 360 is like it's even worse. Uh, A11, when you said 500 players, are you talking about um? All right, are you talking about Reach or are you talking about uh, Titanfall One? Or a totally different game? Uh, Wolf Leader, I can. I never have issues getting infection matches on MCC. You have to search. Halo 3 is like your best bet to get infection. Either Halo 3 or Halo Reach. That, that's what most people search for infection on MCC. But like, I, I can almost always get like an instant match with infection on Halo 3 MCC. Which is also my favorite infection game mode.
because like I said earlier, hands down, my uh, favorite Halo game is Halo 3, and Infection is a big reason why. I actually don't like the uh, Infection modes in later Halo games. I, I prefer the Halo 3 Infection mode the best. Uh, Tucker's Baby. Did the perfect Zero Dark demo have multiplayer on it? Five minutes remain. Or does the... Actually, did the Perfect Dark Zero demo, does it even still exist at all? Because like, I was browsing demos on the 360 store uh, last night to see if there's anything else. I don't think I saw the demo of it. But maybe I just was... I wasn't looking for it specifically, so I'm not sure. Oh wow, the demo is actually compatible with the full game. That's actually that's actually unheard of. <laughs> I never knew that. Oh yeah, yeah. Actually, according to the Tiger, there the the full uh, the full game is probably dead by now, anyways. But actually, yeah, that, that's great. That's um that could be revived, and and even better. Like I know Perfect Dark Zero. I'm pretty sure that's part of the Rare Replay uh, collection on Xbox One, which means it's also backwards compatible, and it's on Game Pass. I'm pretty sure. So. When we do that, we could we could definitely uh, revive that a lot easier. Cause I'm sure a lot more of you have <laughs> Xbox Ones than you do um, working 360s. And I'm pretty sure Game Pass is pretty popular now, so it shouldn't require people to go out and buy the rare replay if you don't already have it. That is. But yeah, I, I guess we could do a Perfect Dark Zero um, in the future. I'll have to take a look at that though. I haven't played it yet. I'll check the demo as well. See um. See if it's like cross, cross platform or cross game. Yeah, NLE Capo. I, I do like Halo Three ODS as well. It's it's a very underrated Halo game in my opinion. Uh, the story of it is pretty great, and I've actually. I've been wanting like a, hit, a sequel to ODST for a while. Like, like if you guys read the books, well, I, I, I didn't actually read the books for like the ODST se sequel yet, but I, I did sort of spark note it or read the summary. So like, I, I know what happens to uh, Rookie and Pals, but that would actually make a really good um, Halo game. It would, uh, if they turn that into a game, it would make a pretty good sequel to ODST. No, you, bro, you can't spoil that for everybody. <laughs> but yeah, I, I I know that happens, and that would have been a pretty uh, it would have made it would have been a really good cinematic story game. Actually, that's the thing. Like, I know like there's a lot of rumors about Bungie being bought by Microsoft again. If that's true, like if it happens, it's unlikely that Microsoft will. They're not gonna get rid of three for three and replace them with Bungie. That's that's a given. But it would be it would be cool and a good use of like. Well, actually no, it, it doesn't even like matter because I was gonna say like it'd be cool like if they if they use Bungie's talents to make like a spin-off Halo game like ODST two, based on the books. But it's it doesn't even matter because like the original Bungie team that worked on Halo like I don't think any of them are there anymore. So. It's not even the same Bungie anymore. They're like Bungie in name, but they're not they're not the Bungie that like everybody knew back during the development of um Halo. But one minute remaining. Regardless, it would still be cool if um if they put like another studio to make a spin-off Halo game. You know, like, while 343 works on and maintains MCC and Halo Infinite, another studio like Bungie or any of Microsoft's first-party studios could work on um could work on what do you call it, the uh, the spin-off games, either ODST two or something else. And and they've done that before too. It's not it's not like that's game such a radical over. idea. Like with Halo Wars, they had a different studio work on that. 
the first time it was, um, it was Ensemble that did it. And then after Ensemble, they had a Creative Assembly for Halo Wars 2. And of course, all the mobile Halo games like Spartan Assault and Spartan Strike, those were those were not made by 343, they were made by other studios. Actually, even the remasters, like Halo Anniversary, those were made by like a lot, mostly made by Saber, I'm pretty sure. Uh, oh yeah, um, you got, hopefully, um, hopefully we can get a full lobby this time and not get our lobby stolen. <clears throat> Uh, Lan Hikari DS. Yeah, um, me and Photos Chaos are shooting for another game night on, um, this Friday, actually. Our usual time. Either Friday or Saturday, we're not entirely sure yet, but we'll, we're gonna try to give a bigger heads up this time instead of, like, just suddenly start streaming, so we'll figure it out soon, but th this weekend is when our next game night's probably gonna be. So, that, just, uh, keep an eye out for that. All right, we got four players. Come on, give us four more. Stop stealing our lobbies. <laughs> and uh, Tundra season. Um, congrats on your uh, on a successful surgery, and thank you for dropping by. Glad you're enjoying this. And oh no, we just got another four-player lobby. What's going on? <laughs> I'm gonna do none of the above this time. It's probably gonna be Headhunter. I think it's just Slayer, Headhunter, and Crazy King. I don't think there's other play. Um... Oh, there's Slayer DMRs. Let's try DMRs. <clears throat> yeah, Small Wolf. You guys, you guys stole my full lobby. <laughs> It would be cool, like, if four more people out there downloaded it on the 360s, and, um, we can get, like, two full lobbies going on at the same time. That would actually be really awesome. And again, that would also spike up 343 servers. Slayer. Actually, random quick question, but do you guys prefer my video to be, like, in the bottom left corner or the bottom right corner? Or would you prefer it in one of the top corners? Cause like, I don't know if you guys like care about seeing the score or not, or if you want to see my motion tracker, or if you want to see my ammo count. I, I don't know, but like, let me know. Cause like, I I never actually know like what's the best spot to put it. I put it in the bottom right corner, or bottom left, just as my personal preference. But I'm curious what you guys think. I see like bottom left, I see top left, <laughs> middle. Yeah, I could cover the entire screen with it. <laughs> Oh, put it above the kill feed. Good point. I think right there. All right, let me know how that is, guys. Lost if you guys like lead. that or not. It's kind of OD. I don't know. I'm kind of OCD about it being in corners, but I'll make it work. Actually, no. I feel like that 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 kind of obstructs like a good amount of my my field of view. You know, the very limited field of view in old Halo. <laughs> Make it smaller, you said. Uh. Hmm. I don't know. All right, what do you guys think about that? I guess I guess it doesn't obstruct my view too much, although uh, it it does kind of like cut off like my peripheral vision a bit. <laughs> Just like an enemy in the top left corner. I'll, I'll, let me, all right, while well, I'm responding, let's see what people think. Um, yeah, that looks like a lot of people do like that one. Uh, I see people saying top right's the most common. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to do. 
Maybe I should just like copy the copy and paste that and put it all over the screen, put it everywhere. <laughs> that way it'll be a uh, <laughs> it'll be balanced that way. <laughs> you know, it's too bad like the, the Halo Reach beta isn't like still active anymore, like still usable. Because like, if it was, we could, I, I miss like Generator Defense. That was a really fun game mode. I uh, I don't think Generator Defense was ever like fully brought to MCC. I know there's like that one Generator game type and firefight I think but it's not the same as like what actual generator defense was and yeah equalizer this is the Halo Reach demo um, if, if you didn't know like Bungie actually released a demo of Halo Reach that actually contained it was actually a pretty fully featured demo it contained a campaign one mission uh, one map for ma uh, multiplayer but it had fully working matchmaking that still works to this day and it had firefight too with firefight matchmaking as well one map though Firefight. Revenge. Kill joy. Oh, and the one map had like multiple game types. I think like four game types we had. We had like Crazy King, we had regular Slayer, Headhunter, Slayer DMRs. Yeah, four game types. Which is actually really good for a demo, because like, you know, like I said at the beginning of the stream, the uh, other demos, they uh, either like limit what you can do or like just it's just a single player only demo or you get cut off after like an hour I didn't realize you can get assists in three for all. I thought that was only like for team games. Uh, Tycoon. The um, you get the demo on a. It's, it's only on Xbox 360, but you just go to like the marketplace, the Xbox store, and just f search up the Halo Reach demo, and it, it's free to download. It, it's like 1.2 gigabytes or something like that. Ah, oh, that that's what that's what's missing from like the title update there's no uh actually I, I don't know if i just saw that wrong but there's no like bleed through i think bleed through was added to title update whereas in pre-title update on a demo there was no bleed through Oh my god, <laughs> I just got sort of new comboed. Uh, Abo Ruiz, we'll probably keep going for like, I don't know, we'll keep going for a while, maybe like another hour. It depends like, yeah, it, I'm giving more time for like a few people to like download it. I know some people said they're going to download it real quick and join, so giving people time to join in. So maybe like another hour. I'm thinking of maybe doing Firefight eventually, but I don't know. Firefight's only uh, four players, I think, so a lot of people would be left out, but they can keep searching uh, matchmaking if they want. Because, like, all, my, all the A-player lobbies are getting stolen from me, so I, I might have no choice but to do Firefight anyways. <laughs> No, no, <laughs> you stole my kill. I 
At the same time, I am kind of getting hungry, so... I don't know, we'll see how long, much longer we stream for. And, uh, Sea Dog, thanks for uh, stopping by. And hopefully we'll see you next time. What? <laughs> oh my god, that's crazy. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm in last place. I blame this on stream sniping. That's the only possible explanation. Yeah, small if I agree. Like the the 360 controller, like like it was a really good controller actually, one of the one of the best Microsoft ever made. But going back to it from like an Xbox One controller, it is um, it's a bit of an adjustment. I think after this, I might do like one firefight lobby. So, yeah, after this game, I will stop for a bit. Let people also stop, and then we'll all search at the same time for firefight. I want to get at least one of those going as well. Get those firefight lobbies, servers, whatever, warmed up again. Alrighty. Actually, uh, Labyrinth Tiger, the, the thing is, like, a lot of people do actually, um, play Halo 2 and x Link Kai. It's, it has a sizable population. You probably get, like, two, three, maybe five lobbies going sometimes. But yeah, so, uh, Everybody that's waiting to search, don't search just yet. We are going to search Firefight next. So just switch your playlist to Firefight. And then I'll give you guys like a minute to get ready. And then we'll all search at the same time. Firefight's only up to four players, but we're just going to do one game and then we'll go back to multiplayer. You know, mix things up a little. In the meantime, I'll wait like a minute. Let's see what else we got here. The only other thing is like campaign, which actually does support up to four player co-op as well. But we're not gonna bother with campaign today. Just matchmaking for today. All right, everybody, let's search firefight. So I'm gonna start searching in three, two, one, Go! Oh, actually, now three, two, one, and there we go. Oh yeah, <laughs> it does. It does say um, I unlocked armors. Like I, I wonder if it's pulling like my unlocked armors from my 360 profile, or if this, if the unlocked armors have anything to do with like. From the XP I'm getting, but I don't think I'm getting that enough XP like to unlock that many armors. All right, we got one person in firefight so far. Three people. 
Come on, full firefight lobby. One more person. It could just be the default armors. I'm not sure. But yeah, come on, one more person. I don't know if it's gonna start us off with like three player firefight or not. Oh, yeah, it will. All right, that's okay. Oh, oh, generator defense, do that one. Thank you. No, no, generator defense. Yes. Gener generator defense is always pretty fun. We'll do one of this and then we'll, we'll switch back to regular matchmaking. Yeah, Zay, you finally, finally got into my lobby. <laughs> Instead of stealing my lobby. Yeah. Firefight. Spartan, you need to keep that generator online at all costs. Failure is not an option. To be honest, I actually don't even remember exactly what the original generator game type was on the beta. I thought it was like a... I was told it was like a PvP game type, but... I, I don't fully remember. I thought this was pretty close to it. In Firefight. Oh god, look at that frame rate dropping. It's like 20 FPS there. Uh, small. Technically, there is 16 player firefight. <laughs> it's called a uh, Warzone firefight on Halo 5. Actually, like the way I said that, like it, it reminds me of um, when the Xbox One first came out. Like I don't know if you guys remember this, but like the Xbox One had a pretty bad launch, to be honest. And back when, uh, before Phil Spencer was in charge, it was Don Matrick, and uh, I just remember like that one thing he said that like like made a lot of people angry. Like a lot of people were asking um, about like if it's possible to play the Xbox One offline, because at the time it was supposed to be like an online-only console, and. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, so it was an online only console and I think it was like I think it was Angry Joe that asked him that question. But he uh Don Matrix response to like about whether we can play the Xbox One offline, he was like it's like well we have a console for people that want to play offline. It's called Xbox 360. And like at the time I was like I was like wow. But I'm glad like Phil Spencer was able to turn the Xbox around. He pretty much saved the Xbox brand. Like, if Xbox kept going as it, as it did, the original like plan, I don't know like where it, where it be today. Under uh, attack. Franklin. You, you can get, I mean, yeah, you, you can get XP on this in the campaign, but it doesn't really matter, because, like, you, you can't rank up in a demo. It'll say you got XP, but it won't actually, like, do anything. The XP kind of goes nowhere. But you can technically get XP. Oh yeah, of course in a full game you can you can earn XP in campaign just by playing it. And it actually counts towards like your full XP. Not on MCC though. MCC playing campaign doesn't give you XP unless you do challenges in campaign. And that's the only way. But you don't you don't get XP just for playing campaign on MCC. 
Unless, of course, the challenge is just for playing campaign missions, but that, that's kind of separate. Killing spree. Charlie under attack. Generator rules. I'm pretty sure it's going to end badly for me and this hunter. <laughs> oh my god, I am... Why am I struggling so much to kill this hunter? There we go. Uh, yeah, frankly, I do sometimes play Minecraft. Rarely, though. Every now and then, I do, I do go on a tech the world that, like, my friends made. Or, like, you know, it, it, it's like a fun game just to, like, you know, play, like, when you want to, like, relax and just chill and not really do anything, like, intense or stuff like that. It's a very passive game, I guess you could say. Or at least it can be. Alpha under attack. Bravo under attack. Alpha under attack. I think we're doing pretty well. We we lost C, but we uh we only have like one one wave left after this. Alright, far away Phantom, if you can, uh, we'll still be searching uh, matchmaking for a bit after this, so hopefully you finish in time to, to join us. Alright, this is it. Uh, 11, no I did not hear about that yet, but I'm sure it'll be pretty cool. Most Minecraft updates do end up being uh, pretty interesting. Ah, oof. Oh, everybody tied. <laughs> Bravo under attack. <laughs> Bravo under attack. Oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> Hopefully Generator lost. Hopefully we can save A. There's only one enemy left. Wow, those leads just like completely like shredded B apart. Standing by for a jump fire mission. Over. Catch. On. Round start. Oh wait, this isn't one set. This is a full. Oh, so that was just one round. Oh my god, it's still 20 minutes to go. Hmm. Ah, oh. yeah, you know, I was thinking of like MCC firefight, like firefight arcade. Cause like, it's just like one... Actually no, it is one set. 
but hmm. Well, we're not gonna last much longer anyways. I'll go say like should we just like back out, but at this rate A is uh Yeah, A is like barely any health left. Oh god. Well, I guess we'll see how long we can last. I, I highly doubt we're going to, um, <laughs> I highly doubt we're going to, like, be able to maintain A for, like, another 20 minutes. I mean, yeah, Ash the Fox, does this match made firefight, though? So, I didn't think it would be this long, because I kept thinking of MCZ match made firefight. Can we damage our own generator? I guess not. Yeah, I'm guessing like the, the day they shut down the 360 servers is when the day this game also gets shut down. I don't think I don't think 343 is gonna like shut down the reach demo anytime soon. They don't really have a reason to. It's not really, I doubt it's really taking up any space, and like I'm, like I said earlier, I'm pretty sure I suspect it actually shares servers with the main Halo Reach, but that's just my guess. Maybe maybe they do have like separate servers set aside for it, like one single like potato PC server, but who knows? We did have like a couple host migrations already, so the servers aren't you know the best in the world, but it works. Oh, I think we're about to lose Alpha. <laughs> Alpha locked. Oh, we just bought ourselves a couple minutes, probably. And uh, M4. No, you can't. You can't rank up in the uh, the demo. You can get XP. Like at the end, it'll say like you got like a thousand XP or something, but it won't actually count for anything. The XP it gives you doesn't go anywhere. Good job guys <laughs> that was pretty fun let's switch back to regular matchmaking now and hopefully i can get a finally like get a full lobby and, and not have it stolen so once again i'll back out i'll wait like a minute for people to get situated because it might be like a delay in a mic and stuff so yeah but when i start searching in a bit just do regular multiplayer now that, that's the only multiplayer playlist aside from firefight but yeah we'll give like a minute But uh, Ypra, thanks for stopping by, and hopefully we'll see you next time. So in the meantime, while we wait like maybe another minute for people to get ready, 
again, like any other suggestions for future games to do for this stream series? Any other dead games? Just you know, feel free to suggest it. You could say in the chat below. I'll try to remember it, or you could DM it to me, either on Discord or um, on Twitter. You know, feel free to let me know. But so far, we've got like the old Call of Duty games, like Call of Duty 2, Call of Duty 3. We've got a uh, Perfect Dark Zero. Uh, we've got Destiny Crucible. And we've also got a uh, what you might call it, um, Destiny Crucible. There was another game. I forgot what people said. Oh, oh, possibly Titanfall. And well, it depends if people still play Titanfall on 360 or not. So yeah, we got a few. But anyways, let's start matchmaking. So whenever you guys are, I'm gonna start searching right now. So anybody else that's standing by, you can search as well. Hopefully people are still searching. I'm not sure people like left or dropped off after uh, we did firefight, but we'll see. All right, so far we got two. Can we get a uh, five more? We got four. That's enough for a two v two. But can we get four more? Full lobby. Okay, there we go. Got a uh, fifth person. Three more. Full lobby. Let's go. Ah, uh, another one. Now we just need two more. Let's go, let's go. And uh, Isaiah, I think like the next thing I'm gonna try is like, I'm gonna see if I can mod the uh, full maps, like the, the new maps into the demo. Maybe it's just as easy as like dragging and dropping the maps, but I'm not sure. But, it would be interesting. But yeah, come on guys, two more. Two more people. One more. <laughs> so far seven's the most I've had in my own lobbies. I know others have had like full lobbies of eight, but one more would be great. I, I, I wanna stream at least like one full lobby for tonight. So let's go, one more. Ah, uh, all right, that's fine. We could do seven this time. I think uh, I think someone said they're still downloading it. So hopefully by the time we're done one or two more games, they'll have it done downloading. Uh oh, what's it gonna be? Headhunter or none of the above? Headhunter. All right, headhunter it is. Hey, Far Away Phantom, I see you're done downloading. All right, wait till we're done this game, Far Away, and then uh, you can start searching with us. So just stand by, this game won't take too long. And then once you start searching, we should be able to get like a full eight player lobby finally, <laughs> unless it gets stolen again. Headhunter. Uh, NLE, I, I do play Red Dead. Oh, I, I haven't played it for a while, but don't people still play the original Red Dead online? First strike. Like, I, I thought it was a pretty good multiplayer population. You could still get, like, you could still find people. It's kind of like GTA Online, just maybe maybe not as populated. Destination. <clears throat> Skull taken. Lost the lead. Yeah, that's what I thought. There should still be people online in Red Dead Redemption. We're looking for games that are like totally dead. Like literally like it's nobody plays it. Like you'll never find a match even if you let it sit for like a day searching. Skull taken. 
Headhunter. Skull score. Oh, actually, I, I, I know some dead games out there. Um, well, Far Cry 4 is a single player only game, so that doesn't count. Uh, Gears of War 2, possibly. Move. Uh, someone did suggest Gears of War Judgment earlier. That could be another possibility. I know Judgment was pretty unpopular. But, I think like, I don't I don't know if I really want to stream these games, but I know like the old, uh, some of the older EA Sports games are probably dead. But that's the thing like with the EA games, is that EA has like a habit of shutting down their servers, like when the game is like old enough. So like if the game is move. too old, th then it doesn't have servers at all. It's, it's like it's dead and it's impossible to revive. And if it's too new, then it probably still has some population left. So like I don't know, I don't know like how how often EA shuts down servers. I don't, does anybody play like EA sports games? Like, do you know like the older Madden games? Like I don't know, like Madden 2015 or Madden 2014. Still has anybody searching, or still has anybody playing those online? Or even like the FIFA games, like is FIFA 12, does that still have servers? I know like all the Skull Xbox 360, taken. well actually I don't even, I don't know. I, I don't play like EA Sports games very often so I don't know. Also I know, I know like there are some obscure like indie games out there, or like really small games that no one's ever heard of, they're probably dead as well. But I'm also like shooting for like, you know, more, more mainstream games that are dead. Like maybe eventually we can tackle like those really obscure games, but I want to like try to do like the the, uh, the bigger games first, such as Halo Reach for today. And then of course we could eventually do like individual playlists for the 360 Halo games. Skull taken. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, Perfect Dark Zero. That's the other one that people suggested earlier. So we will, I'll, I'll definitely, I'll, I'll, I'll jot it down on my list later. And um, Perfect Dark Zero. Someone said it has a demo as well that's multiplayer. Maybe that demo we could take a look at. Which apparently some people said the Perfect Dark Zero demo is um is cross cross platform with the full game. So I'll definitely look into that. Yeah, we we can't do Halo Two. We can't even do the, the Vista PC version of Halo 2 either. The servers for that have been shut down as well. I, I know like this Project Cartographer, which makes it possible to play it online again, but that's a little bit different. Not to mention the Project Cartographer has a pretty healthy population last I saw. So it's, it doesn't need to be revived. It has to be like a like an official game with you know official servers still online destination moved i don't know if i want to do like x-link though for the revival I, I like i said i'd rather do like the official servers but you know I, I could definitely consider it i'm definitely open to suggestions for this series this is just like just this is just the first one and like what i hope to be many <laughs> Destination moved. Skull taken. Destination moved. Oh, I just came from there. Come on, come on. Head hunt. Yes. Skull scored. Skull taken. Hmm, don't mind if I do. Head hunt. Skull scored. Destination moved.
Actually, no, I was also thinking of reviving the, um... Actually, yeah, Lost Planet's another good game. I love that game. I don't know, like... I'm pretty sure the server... The population is dead for that, but the server should still be online. Skull taken. I'll have to look into that. Um, you know, if, the, if any of you guys, like, have these games, like, I, I haven't checked them out for a while, but... If you guys have them... Just, uh, if you could try them out sometime and let me know, like, if you can even get a match anymore, just let me know. That'd be really helpful, and we can, uh, I can make a better list of games that, uh, priority of games to do for future streams. Minutes remaining. Oh god, that was terrible. <laughs> just pretend you guys didn't see that. <laughs> Did Halo 4 have a demo? I know it had like an E3 demo, which I did a video on before, but I don't think Halo 4 actually had a demo. And far away, I'm pretty sure you could still easily, relatively easily find a match in World of War, or so I've been told. But the, uh, the Call of Duty games I know that you definitely can't get a match on anymore is Call of Duty 2, like, you know, the original 360 Call of Duty 2, and Call of Duty 3. Those two games are pretty much totally dead. Move. So I can, uh, I can definitely give us a shot in the future. And of course, like, I'll do a better, I'll, be, I'll do a better job of giving you guys a heads up next time. But um, whenever I do like a stream about reviving the population of certain games, I'll be sure to give you guys a heads up for it. I'll announce it, like much further in advance, give you guys time to re-download any games or update your games, stuff like that. Oh, and uh, far away, we're, we're about to search now, so you can start searching with us too. Search multiplayer, remember. <clears throat> oh, Small Wolf, that's a good point. Um, I, I actually also played Minecraft 360 edition like a month ago. And... I remember, I, yeah, I could not, nobody searches, like, the, the battle modes anymore in Minecraft 360 edition. So, okay, that's definitely another one I could add to my list to revive in the future. And, yeah, hopefully we get a full lobby this time. Now that we got, um, now that Far Away Phantom is, should be searching with us, that, assuming nobody, like, drops out and leaves, we should have enough for a full eight-person lobby, finally. <laughs> unless, unless somebody else joins and then you guys steal the lobby away from me and I'm the odd person out. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Heart of Ender. There probably are like some versions of Minecraft that are totally dead. And oh, yeah, we got, we got a full eight-person lobby. But yeah, uh, Heart of Ender. I'm sure like you know, 360 Minecraft is probably totally dead. I'm sure like the PS3 version is probably dead as well. Maybe the Wii U version. I'm not sure, but there's a uh, there's definitely versions that are pretty dead. I'm gonna vote none of the above actually. Ah, uh, well, you guys are gonna overrule me. Oh, come on, yes. Now let's see what else we get. <clears throat> let's do Crazy King, actually. We haven't done that for a while. Or at least I haven't. I don't know about you guys in your stolen full lobbies. <laughs> oh, was there a Minecraft for 3DS? That's probably dead, too. Yeah, I mean, FF2G, I know Titanfall 2 is still doing okay. It's, uh, but some playlists you can't find a match anymore. Like, I think last time I tried doing Titan versus Titans, I couldn't find a match in that. And, um, but Titanfall 1 for Xbox 360, that, I'm, I would imagine is probably dead. I'll run, like, polls as well on, like, on YouTube and, um, on Twitter to see, um, you know, I'll, I'll narrow down the list of like certain games I'm going to do next, and I'll run polls to see like which games you guys actually have that you can join us for for the game nights, or which games you prefer to do for the game nights when we revive it. Yeah, and uh, Kaus Kind. I'm so, sorry if I mispronounced that, but um, there there was a Raspberry Pi Field version. Control. I don't even think the Raspberry Pi version had multiplayer though. I thought that was just like Field a single control. player, you know, by yourself, you just explore around. <laughs> Oh god, did you see that frame right there? It's like so choppy. 
And yeah, FF2G, this definitely is going to be a series. Um, this is just the first of many. We just need to come up with a list of good games to tackle Heal first. I'm leaning towards Call of Duty next at the moment, Heal but maybe Heal Titanfall Heal and maybe Perfect Control. Dark. Those, those are like the uh, top three candidates we have right now. Yeah, I guess I guess Minecraft will make it top four. Heal Control. But we'll see. Like I said, I'll, I'll narrow it down eventually, and then we'll, I'll run a poll to see what people want to see next. See, yeah, uh, um, Aaron, I know people have suggested call uh, World of War, but I'm pretty sure like you could still find a match on World of War. Like, it, it's not that hard to find a match. Like, it may not have like a population like it was too, but it's uh, I wouldn't call it, like the game totally dead. Same with BO1. I know Black Ops 1 probably still has Heal matches. Control. Actually, like I, I hear like those games are like modded like so badly, like like it's it's unplayable due to all the hackers. But there's still lobbies as far as I know. Heal control. Heal move. But oh uh, well, I, I don't know. Like like I'll, I'll take like a World of War as well. If it's like if it really is totally dead, then that'll be that's perfect. Another game to add to the list. Heal control. And actually, the, the great things about the uh, Call of Duty games is that they're all backwards compatible on uh, on the Xbox One and soon Series X. So more people will be to join us for that because you know with this Halo Reach demo, people had to um, only people with, with working 360s could actually join us. But with uh, the Call of Duty games, not you know you don't need a 360 anymore. You can do it on Xbox One. The backwards compatibility. Um, Demon Wolf, like Destiny 1 is not dead though, D1 on 360, that's still a lot of people playing on that, that game, but only in PvE modes. It's hard to find um, players for Crucible on, on D1. Like maybe sometimes you can get a match in Free For All, but anything else besides Free For All, it's like pretty much impossible. But Destiny 1 Crucible could be another option in the future. Control. Oh yeah, um, Dead Space Two is another one. I I doubt many people are playing the multiplayer of Dead Space Two. Actually, Mass Effect Three multiplayer. That's another. That's another one. Although I, I heard some people just. I know like some like obscure multiplayer games have like a really core like niche group of people that still play it, like they're, like dedicated to playing it consistently. So maybe like maybe some of these games like aren't, aren't as dead as we think, but I'm not sure. Again, these are all games I can add to my list. Actually, um, A11, if 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 you're hearing this, do you mind if you like jot down these games for me and then send me the list later? Just cause like I'm you know doing two things at once and I might forget like some of these suggestions. So tr jot down as many suggestions as you see, and then we'll we'll work on putting together the list later, narrowing it down. And investigating which games are actually dead or not. Tested. Heal control. Heal control. Oh, people are still on Dead Space 2. Wow, I'm, that's actually kind of surprising to me. Like I remember when Dead Space 2 first became bas backwards compatible. I do remember people playing the matchmaking on that, and it was pretty easy to find a match. But I, I didn't know like after all this time, people still played it or not. But I guess the answer is my question. <clears throat> oh my god. Ugh. That was bad. <laughs> Alright, um, A11, so far we've got, um, we got Call of Duty 2, Call of Duty 3, Call of Duty, uh, just, just put down Call of Duty. That's, it's not too hard to figure that one out myself. Uh, we got Titan Fall for 360, um, Perfect Dark Zero, um, Dead, Dead Space 2, uh, War of Cybertron, Five minutes remaining. He'll move. Um, He'll oof, what else? I saw a few, I'm just, I'm like half reading right now. Oh, 
Oh, Left 4 Dead and Mass Effect 3 multiplayer. Add those down as well. Kill control. I don't think Crackdown 2 is dead. Like, it's free to play now, uh, for starters. And I remember, like, it wasn't too long ago that I last played it. Kill control. Kill control. Oh, Bioshock 2 multiplayer. CNA said that. That's another one. I could definitely look into that as well. Oh, and uh, the, the older Gears of War games for 360. Add those down as well. You can just put Gears of War. That one is good to figure out pretty easily. Heal control. Uh. Daniel, I'm pretty sure people still play Bad, Bad Company 2. That was a pretty popular game. And I, I'm pretty sure like that has a pretty core group of people that still play it. Not as much as like it had in its prime, but you know it still had like a niche group. Star Wars Battlefront 2015. That game can't be dead. No way. That, that's so new. I mean, I know like it wasn't that great, but and there's Battlefront 2 now, but still, I, I don't think Kill it's dead. Oh, well, actually, uh, you know, uh, A11, j jot it down anyways. Battle Kill Star Wars control. Battlefront, a and jot down like the older Battlefield games as well. Kill move. And nah, Darksburn GTA 4 definitely still has people playing it, just like Red Kill Dead control. Redemption. Both of th both those games have you know pretty core groups of people still playing, especially GTA. Heal control. Heal control. Yeah, I, the population of GTA Four that's not gonna Heal die move. die out anytime soon. That. That game will probably still have a population until like by the time like 360 servers get shut down. Heal control. Heal control. Heal control. Oh, I saw someone suggest Halo PC, the original one. I don't think that game is dead either. I, I'm pretty sure that game still has a solid uh, community behind it. Like a really Halo core community control. as well. But I, I'll definitely look at it. I'd be, I'd be very surprised if Halo PC was totally dead though. Even after the patch. Heal control. Heal control. Heal move. Actually, oh, I don't know the game that might be dead. I, I don't know, actually. It, it's, it's probably one of those games that has a core community behind it, but... Does anyone play CSGO for Xbox 360? I feel like CSGO on X... I know CSGO is a really, really popular game on PC, but on Xbox 360, I feel like that game probably is dead. I don't know. I don't really know much about the CSGO community on Xbox 360. I don't even think it's backwards compatible. But if anyone happens to, you know, play the CSGO on 360, let me know if that game's dead or alive. Oh. Wait, A11, are you talking about CSGO for 360? Oh, it is backwards compatible. I might get it then, just to try it out. But if it's not dead, then... Oh well. Heal contested. Heal contested. Heal control. 30 seconds remaining. He'll move. He'll control. Uh, FF2G, Firefight on OG360 on ODST. That didn't have matchmaking for it. That was only custom games. So, Ten there's, seconds remaining. there's nothing to revive about it, really. Hey, only Halo Reach had Firefight matchmaking. Until MCC, of course. Game over. Uh, all right, that was pretty fun.
Oh, actually, yeah, that's the other game. Um, A11 to add to the list uh, is Lost Planet 2. Or really any Lost Planet multiplayer. I, I highly doubt any of the other games. I don't remember if the other games had multiplayer or not. I'm pretty sure they do, but I highly doubt those games have any people playing it. And, okay, Ash the Fox. I guess if I want to get CSGO, I'll just have to buy the disc copy of it, which is not too bad. Crackdown 1, I, I I mean, I know it's co-op, but it's not really, like, um, a multiplayer game. Like, I, I want to focus on reviving, like, multiplayer games first before we do co-op. So, let's try to go for, like, games with, like, you know, bigger multiplayers. And BJ Blazkowicz. No, MCC is not crossed by yet, but that is coming soon. Forza Horizon 2. That game can't be dead. Can it? Hmm. Actually, yeah. I, I know. Th Actually, no, you're, you're right. The older Forza games are probably dead. It's worth a check. So, yeah. All right, Alex. Add, add Forza to the list as well. It's going to be a really long list. But we'll narrow it down. And uh, thanks for dropping by, uh, Xavier. I uh, hope you uh, enjoyed and had fun. And hopefully we'll see you guys. Oh, hope, hopefully we'll see you next time. <clears throat> hey, yeah, we got another full lobby again. And Fiddlesticks. This isn't going to be for... Well, I guess it is for a future video. It's for um, future streams. So we're gonna. I'm starting a new live stream series where we revive the populations of dead games. And... Halo Reach was the first one for today. Ooh, Slayer DM Mars it is. <laughs> and as for the games we're going to tackle first, also try to go for more mainstream games. Oh, and uh, Nasir, um, sorry if I mispronounced that, but... um. The old Need for Speed games. I actually tried playing Need for Speed Carbon the other day on my 360. Slayer. Uh, like, like I said earlier, like EA actually has like a habit of um shutting down servers of old games. So the old Need for Speed games, their the servers are all like, like they're literally gone. <laughs> there, there's no reviving those games, Lost even if you wanted to. Lead. a shame because like I really like some of the older Need for Speed games. Need for Speed Carbon was really fun. Uh, Most Wanted was really fun. I even liked like Need for Speed The Run a lot actually. It had a pretty good campaign like for a Need for Speed game at least. And then um, I never really got to play the multiplayer much from Need for Speed The Run and I'm pretty sure it's been shut down now. <clears throat> Oh wow, Need for Speed Pro Street isn't even that old either. Well, I mean, it is pretty old, but it's not as old as like Carbon or Most Wanted. Yeah, I think like EA shuts down servers like just after like a few years. If, if the game even lasts that long. Unless the game is super popular, I'm pretty sure like servers, they're not gonna last very long. Especially the sports games. Like, I don't even think like Madden, does Madden 2017 even still like have population, oh, like have servers? I don't know. Speaking of EA, do you guys remember like back when EA did a whole EA online pass thing? It was like one of the shadiest things they've done in a while, like a while ago. Uh, if you remember, like, the, the EA Pass thing, it was, like, um, every, like, EA game you buy, it came with, like, a code inside, like, a DLC code to activate the multiplayer. Otherwise, if you don't enter the code, you can't play the multiplayer. But, like, you know, it, it was fine, because, like, it, it didn't cost extra or anything, because it came with the game. But, if you bought a used copy of the EA game, 
the code was already redeemed or it's not there at all. So you would then have to buy the online pass to unlock multiplayer if you bought a used copy of the game. That was like such a shady thing they did back then. It was so bad. I'm glad they got rid of that. But leave the EA to do that. <laughs> Oh yeah, Assassin's Creed multiplayer. Didn't like Assassin's Creed three, like I know I know you said four, but didn't three also have like a PvP multiplayer? If so, I, I bet that's pretty dead too. Even though the game's, even though the game itself might be more popular. Yeah, I've never heard, like, <laughs> I've never heard people call Flood Infection Forums onions before. <laughs> I've heard popcorn, but I've never heard onions. That, that's a new one. <laughs> and A11, I hope you're still jotting down all these suggestions that are coming in. Yeah, in that case, the old Assassin's Creed games, um, yeah, the old Assassin's Creed multiplayer is definitely, I don't know, I, maybe, maybe I'll be surprised, but I, I'm pretty sure they're probably dead. That'll be my guess. What? <laughs> Demon Wolf, you called Flood Infection Forms Jelly Beans? That is definitely new to me. Oh, uh, yeah, M Mr. Awesome, the, uh, the aiming on this, like, I'm not the best Reach player, obviously, so, like, don't, don't, like, you know, go off of my gameplay entirely, but, um, the aiming is different compared to MCC, just because, like, MCC has that modern aim setting, which is just an improvement, I believe. Revenge. Kill joy. time. No. Yeah, FF2G, I totally agree. I would definitely love to see another Halo spin-off game. Like a sequel to ODST based on the book. Or even something totally new. There's a lot of um a lot of stuff they could do with the Halo, you know, lore as far as games go. Five minutes remaining.
Oh, you stole my assist. I mean, you stole my kill. Game over. Ah. Uh. Oh, someone lagged out or left during the game. <laughs> Oh wow, look at that. I actually, yo, it, it actually is counting the XP. Look at that, it says, um, it says like new armory items are available. Go to the armory. Wow. Wait, what, what happens if I do this? Cause like the, ar oh no, no, I waited too long. I don't think it would've worked cause like the armory is locked. Has anyone else had that message pop up that's like plain? Cause like, um, I'm sure other people would have done it, would have had it by now. That's pretty, that's pretty weird actually. Yeah, I don't think it would have worked or done, I, I think it would have just not worked. Well, I'm going to do like three more games. Um, so yeah, three more games before I probably call it a night. But during those three games, uh, hopefully I might get enough XP for another one. Or if someone else gets it, um, let me know in the chat what happens if you click on it. I think like, you know, like a lot of you have been playing with me the whole time. So like some of you should be pretty close to getting it if you haven't already. So hopefully over the next three matches, we um, one of you guys will be able to get the option and see what happens. Or maybe I'll get it again. <clears throat> Uh, Cat Boss, you, you can download the demo off the uh, the 360 uh, marketplace on Xbox Live. It's free. It's just like a little over a gigabyte. All right, yeah, Isaiah, if, if you uh, if it happens to you, then just uh, let me know what happens. And if if for some reason it works, can you like? take like pictures or even like record like a quick clip of it working and then see what happens after that and then send it to me on either like Twitter or Discord. That would actually be, um, it'd be pretty interesting if something actually happens or if it doesn't work, send me a picture of the screen, whatever message you get. And actually a test monkey, I'm just a uh, virtual simulation. <laughs> I'm an AI. <laughs> Also, for, for these last few games, let's try to get like one of each game type that we haven't done yet. So we just did Slayer DMR, now we're doing regular Slayer. For the last few games after this, let's try to get um, Crazy King again, and then Headhunter. And that should cover all the games in a demo to end the night. <clears throat> and yeah, thanks Isaiah, that'd be, that'd be really great. Oh yeah, Kaiser Wilhelm. Sorry, I missed missed your question. But uh, what is your uh, what's the question you want to ask? I will answer it if I can.
Uh, yes, insert Z insert. This is the Halo Reach demo on Xbox 360. Oh, because we're we're doing like a new thing, like uh, certain game nights every now and then we revive the population of dead games. So that's why. And obviously the Halo Reach demo is very dead. And it's also fun playing the demo because it's kind of like a time capsule of what old Halo Reach was like. It's um like for starters, it's pre-title update, pre-TU Reach. So it's uh pretty retro, pretty OG. And of course, after after Halo Reach, in the future, we'll be reviving dead populations of other games. Yeah, thanks to us now, the uh, the Reach demo is um alive again briefly and it, it would be funny like like i said it would be funny if tomorrow whoever at 343 checks keeps on the servers if they see like a sudden spike with like multiple lobbies going on on the halo reach demo from like zero to like something that'd be pretty funny like to see like a reaction <laughs> like i don't know if, if anyone 343 is going to see this or not but if they do it would actually be pretty awesome if they could share like the server stats for the halo reach demo just to show like what kind of impact we made on the servers for one night <laughs> for the uh, demo. Um, and Z and Surge, to answer your question, there are a, a few other differences with the demo compared to the full game. Aside from like not having the title updates being like pretty OG reach, there's a uh, there's only like a couple playlists. There's only like one map for multiplayer with four game types, and it's only free for all, no team games. There's also a four-player firefight, also on one map only, and it has two game types, regular firefight and generator defense. And then there's campaign, which does support four-player co-op, but it's just one mission, just Long Night of Solace. Oh, actually, it's, it's not even one full mission, it, it's half a mission. <laughs> it's, um, it's from the beginning of Long Night of Solace up to when you finish the space battle. And after you finish the space battle, that uh, it doesn't take you onto the ship anymore. It, it just uh, it ends there. That's the end of the mission. Uh, FF2G, we already, we already did a firefight earlier, actually. It's a really long firefight game. It's like a full set for like half an hour. So we, uh, we did it for about like 10, 15 minutes earlier until all of, all of our generators got destroyed. Uh, yeah, Z and Search, I think most of the differences are... Because this isn't like a beta version of Reach, it's like the... It's like a slimmed down full version of Reach. But... Like, I, I'm not sure what we mean by balance, but like... Th there were, you know, updates to the game type. The, the title update, that, that's... Those are balancing updates for multiplayer, for multiplayer gameplay. So... This is definitely, uh... Because it doesn't, this game doesn't have any of those updates. It's not as balanced, I guess, as the final game, if that's what you meant. But everything else about it, like I said, it's not a beta, so everything else is pretty close to the full game. It's just missing content and doesn't have like the uh, updates. Actually, like one of the some of the balancing things is like um, the uh, sword canceling. After the title update and reach, you can't you can't sword block. You can't sword block the arm anymore. You used to be able to just do that, but now after the title update, you need a sword to, to uh, block another sword. And then there's also changes to like the bloom. I don't know exactly what's changed about that, but I know there were changes. There's also changes like bleed through of shields and health. So this game is like a it's like a time capsule for launch Halo Reach, essentially. With limits. 
And Kaiser Wilhelm, I'm still waiting for your question. <laughs> you never asked it yet. So, uh, Ethan, on MCC, I think if you, outside of matchmaking, if you just do plain custom game reach, um, you know, regular Slayer, not TU Slayer, I think you can sword block with uh, without a sword on MCC. But as far as matchmaking goes, it, it's all TU now on reach. Uh, Portland Zombie, Halo, re Halo 3 isn't dead on 360. You can still get matches in uh, Slayer, or Social Slayer, and um, probably even Team Slayer. But yeah, two more games to go. And also, Kaiser, I'm not going to answer that question, actually. That's uh, another thing for another time. I don't want to get like a debate or anything. <laughs> Those things will often... Lead to long debates, and don't feel like getting into a debate on that right now. Yeah, Isaiah, I, I did mention that earlier. That that would be funny if um, like someone like five years ago, they were supposed to like some intern at three four three was supposed to shut down the servers for the reach demo, but they forgot to shut it down. And it's been running ever since, and then because we because of us, like we, we we revived it tonight. Someone tomorrow is gonna like they're gonna be surprised. They're gonna like see like like a random spike in a server that they forgot about and they'll be like oh crap we were supposed to shut that down five years ago let's shut it down now <laughs> that would actually be kind of hilarious and, and also unfortunate at the same time because um well like there's really no reason people would play the demo if they had the full game but still it would be kind of funny if we caused the demo to get shut down finally and uh aries uh we do run game nights uh quite frequently pretty much every week or so and they are custom games on MCC, so just uh, make sure to drop by the next one. Yeah, like, I, I don't know, like, who manages the servers. Maybe, like, because the other possibility is that... Oh, I didn't even see what game... Oh, we searched... We did the wrong game type. I was going to do... I want to do, like, one of each. All right, I guess we'll do one extra game then and try to get one of each. It's just two more game types left, which is uh, King of the Hill and um, Headhunter. So we'll be sure to get those. Slayer. Uh, yeah, Ethan, we did we did complete uh, indoor on stream the other night. We did it with um, me and Photos Chaos. We did it with uh, both uh, Elijah and Luke from Rock Rocket Sloth, actually. It was a pretty fun game night. And it was so much easier than I remember to, to do Endure. We did it in like record time. And yeah, it was pretty easy. I'm not sure why. Has anyone like done Endure yet on MCC and felt like it was easier than like, it used to be? Oh god. <laughs> uh no, Halo 4 on 360 is definitely not dead. I know you can still get matches on that easily. Oh, a Halo game that might be dead on 360 is maybe Halo Wars 1 for 360. I don't I don't know if people are still searching Halo Wars 1 multiplayer. Well, even Halo Wars Definitive Edition, I feel like that probably doesn't have much of a population left to it. And 
Yeah, Ash, I know like realistically 343 probably wouldn't notice, and even if they did notice that the spike in population on a demo, they probably wouldn't care. <laughs> like, it's not a big deal for them. I think like, I think like the reality is that they probably left the servers on on purpose. Like, or, or that it's probably sharing servers with the full Halo Reach, and that's why it wasn't shut down. But still, it, it'd be kind of funny, <laughs> either way. Especially if they see the spike, it'll, it'll like confuse them for like a second. <laughs> And yeah, uh, A11, I think we have a pretty good, um, I think we have a pretty good list of dead games. I, it's probably like a couple dozen games that people listed already. Um, so I think we're good for now. We'll, we'll narrow it down, uh, some candidates for the next game we do. And then I'll post a poll of it on Twitter and on YouTube. And whichever one people vote for the most, we'll do that next. And then, that, and then even more after that. And yeah, Ash, I, I don't like what's more dead. I don't know if Halo Wars Definitive Edition is more dead or Halo Wars 360 Edition is more dead. But either way, I think both games are pretty dead overall. Actually, that's funny. Halo Waypoint is probably like a dead um, game or app, I suppose. And um, if we all went on Halo Waypoint, it would probably also like cause a spike. And like, it, it, it even still has like active services or servers on it. That would certainly cause a spike as well. Oh, far away. Are you talking about um, 360 uh, Halo Wars? If so, then that's pretty much what I expected. For it. I don't know. S since this is a Halo channel primarily, for the next game we do, I, I don't know. Would, would you guys prefer we get through all the Halo games first, or does it not matter? I'll, I'll probably run a poll anyways to see what people want next, but I mean, it doesn't have to be Halo first. But if you guys really, if everybody really wants Halo first, then we could do Halo Wars next. over has anyone gotten like the uh, the armory screen yet for leveling up for ranking up uh, I, I don't know I think Isaiah said he was pretty close because like I totally missed it I didn't go to the armory I didn't see what happened that would be pretty cool if, like if that was like a glitch that you could like bypass the armory because <laughs> like as you know the, the armory is locked so I can't access it but it did give me the option to but I I pressed it too late All right, but yeah, two more games now. And then we'll do like one of each game, one of each game type that's left. And hopefully someone by then gets that armory uh, pop up. Oh, and uh, Ethan, two more games until uh, until I'm probably gonna call it a night for the stream. We've, I've been going for like quite a while, <laughs> so two more. Uh, Ares, my favorite Halo game is Halo Three, hands down. 
And yes, uh, Jay Gomez, this is on the 360. It is the demo. Huh, I'm not getting matches anymore. Did everyone just leave all of a sudden? <laughs> And, uh, next stream, probably, uh, probably gonna be, like, this weekend. It's gonna be a regular game night stream, me and Photos Chaos. And, uh, Snazzy, can't change armor, because, like, it's, uh, it's locked on the Halo Reach demo. It's not available. But for some reason, it seems like, I thought that you do get XP for, like, multiplayer games and campaign. But I thought it didn't count for anything. Like, it doesn't get added to anything. It just goes nowhere. But apparently... Apparently the game is actually keeping track of your XP. It's just not ranking you up or anything. But the XP is still going up to the point where you still unlock armors. But I just can't go to the armory. And yeah, Isaiah, I, I think we're like melting the servers. That's why it's taking so long to search now. Ah, full lobby this time. Well, we've been getting full lobbies, but people have been leaving or lagging out. <clears throat> nah, the, the uh, armory was always locked on a demo. Also, let's do a Crazy King this time. Everyone pick Crazy King. In the next game for our final game, we'll do Headhunter one more time. And then probably call it a night after that. But we'll see. So I do see like a few people just dropping in now and haven't seen the demo before. But basically the Halo Reach demo, it's like the full game. King of the hill. But, ooh, there's a vape now. So it's almost like the full game, but it only has one half of a campaign mission. Half of Long Night of Solace. And it does support multiplayer and everything. It has, like, matchmaking for, like, one map and four game types. Which is what we're doing right now. It has matchmaking for Firefight. Also one map and two game types. Regular Firefight and, um, uh, Generator Defense. And, and that's it. But the, the biggest like thing about the demo is that it actually had fully working Halo matchmaking that still works to this day. Which is pretty rare for a demo. Most demos don't even do multiplayer. And those that do have like a limit on them or like you only have like a one hour time limit or half hour time limit before the demo times out. Control. Tie the leader. Gain the lead. Kill the tank. Kill control. Kill control. You know, the more I play this, I'm starting to get used to 30 FPS again. <laughs> Kill Next time I go back on MCC, it's probably going to be, uh... <laughs> it's probably going to feel weird to me, <laughs> going to 60 FPS again. And CE on 360 is, Kill control. I guess you could say it's dead. It never had online mu multiplayer. So I guess you could say it was never alive to begin with. Kill control. Kill Kill move. Kill control. Kill 
Yeah, this is a pretty close <laughs> game. I'm actually surprised I'm winning this time. <laughs> that would be cool if I could actually win one game tonight. <laughs> Like, I've gotten top three a few games, but I've never actually got first place yet tonight. Everybody I've been playing with, they've been pretty good at this game. Hill control. Hill contested. Hill move. Hill control. Yo, I don't know, like. I don't remember exactly what current like leech is like, like all the details, but isn't Hill evade control. like not in like isn't it barely used anymore in like official matchmaking playlists Hill control. or game types? Hill contested. I thought like they took out evade in a lot of things, but you know, correct me if I'm wrong. Of course, I don't remember for a fact. Hill move. I just don't remember seeing the evade option anymore in matchmaking on MCC. I don't know if it was like removed to the title update or something. Hill control. Hill control. Hill control. Hill control. Hill move. Hill control. Yeah. Well, yeah, I know evade is an invasion, but is evade in like any other game type, Hill like control. Slayer or or King of the Hill? Basically, in regular matchmaking, that's not invasion. Hill contested. Okay, well, if that's the case, then um, Hill control. then yeah, this is like another example Hill of uh, of like what OG Reach is like that's preserved by the demo. It's the fact that. It's the fact that you have evade <laughs> in matchmaking. <clears throat> Cause like, oh yeah, and, and aside from Griff Ball, just, you know, regular Slayer Hill game control. types or regular objective. But like, I, I remember like someone told me, like I don't remember if it was true or not, but I just, I just remember hearing like evade was taken Hill out cause like control. evade was so broken in like regular Slayer Hill game types. Five minutes Hill move. Ah, okay, yeah. Kyle says it was re removed for armor lock. Yeah, I, I heard that like evade was so broken, but armor lock wasn't a good replacement either. Lost the lead. No, I lost the lead. <laughs> Hill controlled. Hill controlled. Hill. Hill controlled. game right now. <laughs> oh, that was you, Isaiah, that assassinated me? Of course. <laughs> yeah, I can see why Evade can be pretty OP. No! I'm gonna lose the lead again. Hill controlled. Hill moved. Ah, uh, of course it had to move so far away. Hill controlled. Hill controlled. Oh my god, of course. 
I like, okay, this isn't so bad. Please tell me this is like, like 50 points. <laughs> oh no! No! I'm almost at 50 points. Probably is the 50 points. Ill control. Oh my god. I can do this. Just one more point. No! Let me get to the hill! <laughs> and yeah, yeah, y you guys are right about um, evade. You, you can like cross the whole map like so quickly with it. No! <laughs> no! I'm so close to winning. Oh, it's not the 50 points. Alright, well. I guess it's the 75 points. But still, I, I can still win this. Heal control. One minute remaining. Dang it, I just got there too. Heal control. Heal control. Heal control. Alright, am I gonna win the first game of the night? Oh god, a frame rate right in the middle here is such a mess. Come on, two more seconds. I can win this. Yes! I won my first game of the night! Woo! Alright. There we go. Someone should like take a picture of that. Wow, that was actually pretty intense. <laughs> Someone to do a Fortnite dance. Uh-uh. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> Although, I remember like a few streams ago, someone did pay me like $100 to sing. But, no. No Fortnite dance. <laughs> and yeah, Isaiah, that was pretty crazy how close that was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Isaiah, assume still no more uh, armory message. And yeah, GG. <laughs> well, mission accomplished for the night. So, this last game will just be for fun. And it's going to be a headhunter. Last game that we haven't done yet. Hopefully, after headhunter, you get the message. I mean, uh, Isaiah, like, even though next game's gonna be my last game, you you guys can still keep playing if you want after I get off. It's, uh, there's still enough people for you to get, like, a lobby together. Maybe not a full uh, armory, but, I mean, blah, not a full lobby. <laughs> but, yeah, you can probably still keep searching, and hopefully, like, within, like, a few games you'll get it. But that, that's up to you guys if you want to keep going. In the meantime... These servers are taking a while to match us. And uh, Ethan, to get the uh, the demo, you just you just download it. It's free on the Xbox Store on the Xbox 360. And well, that's it. The, the demo works still works fine. Servers are still up. <clears throat> do a dab. Should I do a dab? Hmm. Do I really want to do a dab? Hmm. 
I could, I could do a dab. Hmm. What's in it for me, though? <laughs> I don't know. What's in it for me? I demand one billion dollars <laughs> to do a dab. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe after this game, I will consider doing a dab if I see one billion dollars. I don't know if I said that quote right, but yeah. <laughs> Alright, vote uh, none of the above. And oh, wait, wait, no, 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 headhunter. That's what it is, headhunter. That's what we're looking for, and that'll wrap it up for the night. Classic headhunter. Tab or the servers are shut down. <laughs> and uh, thanks, Ash. I really do appreciate that. And thanks for dropping by. Hopefully you enjoyed this. And hopefully we'll see you again next time. But yeah, so last game anyways. And that'd be funny if like, a 343 employee drop by in here and be like, do a tab or else I could shut the servers down. Headhunter. Ah, oh, there's no, there's no evading headhunter. Ah, <laughs> oh, I had so many skulls there. Destination move. I'm so glad we got enough people together for this tonight. I was kind of worried that like not enough people would have gotten the uh, the heads up, the notice, or that not enough people would have uh, a working 360 anymore with Xbox Live. But I I'm very happy that we were able to get like a full lobby, like more than a full lobby going actually. At one point we actually had two lobbies going on. Destination move. And aside from that. I also got to witness firsthand just how broken Evade is <laughs> in, in multiplayer. Revenge. Oh yeah, yeah, Thrust in Halo 4 is terrible. It barely does anything. Like, I feel like it just nudges you forward like a few inches. And it has, it has like a fancy animation and effect with it, but it doesn't actually do anything. But Thrust in Halo 5 actually works pretty well. And I don't mind Thrust in Halo 5. No! I mean, uh, NASCAR Dog, if you did want to try the demo that badly, this is this is the last game of the night, but um, if you did want to play it yourself just to see what it's like, you don't you don't need the disc to play it. You just need um. Skull you just need to be able to download the game. That's all. It's it's like one one point two something gigabytes. Uh, Starbound Ape. If you want to recommend more games, that's fine. Uh, A11, he'll jot it down if it hasn't been suggested already. It can't hurt. But like I said, we're going for like multiplayer games with like actual multiplayers. And right now we're also trying to go for more mainstream games, not like obscure indie games yet. So just keep that in mind if, if you suggest anything else. NASCAR Dog, you could download the demo. It, it's on the Xbox Store, it's free. You just need Xbox Live, of course. Skull taken. No, let me score one skull. Yeah. Skull scored. <laughs> Destination, move. Skull taken. Yeah, a diamond spider. Just think of the Halo Reach demo as like a, uh, it's like a time capsule, like a snapshot of Halo Reach at launch, the original Halo Reach, before any updates, any tuning, any stuff like any, yeah, any stuff like that. Skull taken. But also like that version of Reach, but with like less content. Like half of one campaign mission, one multiplayer map with just a handful of game types, 
and one firefight map with just two game types. That's basically what it's like. But for for a demo, it's actually really like fully featured for a demo. Hey, Diamond Spider, thanks for that. Much appreciated. Skull taken. Skull taken. No, I had so many skulls there. <laughs> Well, I went from like winning last game to probably only getting. Oh, someone's about to get, get Skull and Manjaro. Stop him! Skull taken. Skull. Oh, I was short one skull. I could have had a Skull and Manjaro there. Skull scored. Oh well. At least I, at least I went to second place in just one capture. <laughs> yeah, I was getting wrecked, and then I, I caught up. <laughs> Almost had a Skull of Manjaro. Skull of Manjaro would have been like an instant win there. Someone someone had that too. They, they almost scored it too. We got stopped. I picked up all the skulls, but I guess one was missing. Diamond Spider, no, you can't get this on the Xbox One. It's not backwards compatible. It's only on Xbox 360, which is part of the reason why, like, it's totally dead. <laughs> I'm sure if it's on Xbox One, there might be, like, some niche group of people that still play it. But it's only on 360, so that makes it even, like, less uh, populated. <laughs> Destination, move. Skull taken. Skull oh, there's enough skulls there for a Skull of Manjaro. Oh no. <laughs> Skull taken. Destination move. Hmm, someone has nine skulls out there. been at this how long have we been at this for almost three hours wow oh no wait three and a half hours i think i can't tell uh, uh, two hours 49 minutes that's uh wow <laughs> i've been streaming that long for a while hmm still got a good amount of viewers here i don't know what do you guys think should we keep going hit the, hit the three hour mark exact you guys want to see a few more games I'm willing to do like a few more just to get to the three hour mark. That'd be like maybe two games at the most. Yeah, all right, we'll go for the three hour mark. <laughs> the demo actually is pretty fun. Like it's, like if, if you guys seen you see me play like the the China version of MCC, that version is like a snapshot of MCC at launch, which all the bugs and everything. It, it's like amusing to play. And um, yeah, so like it's always fun to like play these like snapshots of old games from way back, which is where um, Reach demo comes in because it's like a snapshot of launch Reach. But all right, we'll do a couple more games till we hit the three hour mark, and then we'll call it a night.
And you know what? Uh, to the CIA there, um, if you, I guess if if you want to bribe me to do a dab, I'll do it. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll, I'll sell out for a dab. <laughs> but um, am I the only person streaming Halo Reach in the world right now? I'm not surprised. Well, actually, no. Like, I'm not the. I don't think I'm the only person streaming Reach. I'm sure there's people streaming it on MCC Reach, which is close enough. But yeah, I, I do agree with Isaiah. The demo is actually pretty fun. Like, you know, like it, back in the day, like if someone, if someone couldn't get Reach right away, they had to wait till like their birthday or something or the holidays. The Reach demo is actually fun enough to like, to get the full Reach experience almost. I mean, it's just one map over and over again, but it's actually pretty fun. It's got multiplayer, it's got firefight, it's got campaign for a demo, and it supports like online multiplayer and co-op. Like it, it's that's really great. That's really amazing. Oh, and uh, to answer, oh yeah, there's there's no lone wolf on the on the demo. The only mission on here is uh, Long Night of Solace, and it's only half of that mission. You start from the beginning, you finish the space battle, and normally when you're done the space battle, that's when you land on the um, the Corvette to go inside. But before you're supposed to land on the Corvette, after you finish the whole space battle part, that's it. The demo just ends, it fades out, it brings you back to the main menu. Oh wow, we're down to like five people. <laughs> well, I guess it's a good thing that we're ending this after two games, two more games. Well, actually, no, this might, this might even be the last game, depending on how long this takes. We're at the two hour, 53 minute mark right now. So I'm okay if this goes over three hours, but if, if this game goes over three hours, then this is the last game. But if there's still a little bit of time left after three hours, then, I mean, if there's still a little bit of time left before the three hour mark, then we'll do one more game. So it depends how quickly this game goes. But with only like five people, uh, this might be the last game. Uh, Catnip, we have done Firefight earlier. We did like one Firefight matchmaking game, and it was pretty fun. It's a really long game. We did we did Generator Defense. That game's like half an hour long. We didn't do the full half hour because our generators got destroyed, but it was pretty fun. And there's actually two game types available for Firefight, Generator Defense and Regular Firefight. So uh, again, it's like a pretty fully featured um, uh, demo. It's almost like a full game. Like, really, like, if this was, like, the 1990s, this demo would probably qualify for a full game. You could actually pass it off as a complete game, even. If this was, like, the 90s. Content-wise. Well, eh, maybe not, like, because it's only one half of one mission, so it's... It'd be, like, a really small game if you were to pass off as a full game, but it's, um... It, it's compared to other demos. It's a, it's pretty amazing. I can't stress that enough how complete this demo is, or how fully featured this demo is, I should say. All right, Derek. We'll see you next time. Thanks for dropping by. Ah, yeah, so Wally brings up a good point. If Halo Reach was scrapped and like the demo was all we ever got, which it wouldn't be the first time like a game got scrapped and like only the demo is left over. I think the first game that comes to mind is that game uh, PT on PlayStation 4. It's supposed to be like a Silent Hill type game, but it got scrapped. But the demo was still left behind. If the demo was all we had left of Reach, well, yeah, yeah, that'd be pretty sad, especially like 
now that you know we know what Reach was like, and if the demo is all that's left, it, it, would, it would really suck. But <clears throat> it wouldn't be like the worst thing. Like I mean, obviously I prefer to have the full game, but the, the demo, like being you know as playable as it is, it's pretty fun. And you know, just there's still plenty you can do on the demo besides just four game types of in matchmaking on a single map. Now you know it would probably get boring eventually, but it uh it would actually be it'd still be a pretty viable way to experience Reach. Uh, Diamond Spider. It it is actual firefight. It's um. Yeah, it's generator. De I, I think it's the same generator defense in the final game, and on MCC. You know, it's just you and a squad of Spartans, and then uh, Covenant keep dropping in to try to destroy the generators. Uh, Jack, the, um, so the campaign mission is Lana de Salas, and, yeah, it, it's from the, it's from mission start to the end of the saber fight, the space battle. So, it, it cuts off just before you, you're supposed to land on the, uh, the, the corvette. And, no, there's no armor customization in this. Although I did get a message earlier saying that I unlocked new armor in the armory and it gave me the option to go to the armory, but I missed my chance to hit the button. I waited too long. So I don't know if you can actually enter the armory, but the armory is normally locked. But I'm not sure if we like if we had a chance to glitch it and go to the armory anyways. I'm not even sure what would happen if even if we could go into the armory, I'm not sure what would happen if I like changed my armor and then got in game. It might have just been a fluke, and like if I go to the armory, it might like prevent me from accessing it. But that would have been interesting, like if I could be the only person to change my armor in game. I don't know, I waited to press it because like I was like, I wanted everyone to see it, and like I was. I didn't think it would disappear, <laughs> but. Yeah, I don't know, I shouldn't have. Oh wow, we actually finished this game with like 30 seconds left before the 3 hour mark. Now I have to do one more game. <laughs> and yeah, Jack, I, I did see that. Like A lot of people pointed that out about zombies, about how like there's Spartan screams. But actually, you know what's interesting? I um, So I don't know if this is true, but apparently like the Spartan screams on Halo, they're actually like just generic stock sound effects. They're um... They're not actually unique to Halo, apparently. I, I don't know about that for sure, but I, I heard that from somewhere. And so, like, it, it, it's not totally surprising that you might occasionally find, like, the um, the, the death sounds in Halo and other Halo, and other games outside of Halo, or even, like, movies and stuff. So that's actually, like, it's it's almost like a stock sound effect, or so I've, or so I've heard. So if that's true, then th that's that would explain why um, in Cold War Zombies there's a... Uh, the Master Chief or Spartan death screams. Apparently. <laughs> but yeah, one more game, and then we're gonna call it a night, as promised. <laughs>
and yeah, uh, A eleven. I did mean the MP ones, not Master Chief. Although I, I think like sometimes the MP Spartans um, have the same death uh, death sounds as Master Chief. I think, or at least in the older games they did. All right. Ending this with a, is this a full lobby? One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, seven, that's okay. Uh, yeah, we'll do objective, Crazy King, to finish it. Why not? We can, uh, I can use the uh, totally OP, totally broken evade again <laughs> that got removed for a pretty good reason from matchmaking. Uh, Rasputino, sure, what's up? What's your idea? And Isaiah, hopefully after this game, this will be like the, the this will be the one where you get um the armory message. I hope. Hill control. Hill move. Uh, uh, Rasputino, that's that's not possible because the Halo for epilogue it's a pre-rendered video, so there's, there's actually it's not actually like really happening in game, so there's nothing you can do to like zoom out on that or anything. It's it's impossible. Hill control. Hill control. No, don't worry about that. Like, I, I would have loved to do that too. I, I wish it was possible. We would have gotten to see more of Master Chief's face. But unfortunately, that's you know, it's a limitation of Halo 4's epilogue cutscene. I'm gonna try to win this last game. <laughs> Hill controlled. I thought it was the 50 points last time. I guess it's the 75 or free for all. Hill Hill controlled. Hill contested. Hill controlled. Hill controlled. Hill controlled. Guys, let me win. <laughs> Hill control. Hill control. Hill control. No. Flashy Moss. <laughs> He's actually been helping me a lot with Destiny recently. Hill moved. Hill control. Hill control. Hill control. Oh my god, <laughs> there's like 20 grenades there. 
only got like one point out of that. Kill control. <laughs> Kill control. <laughs> No. Once again, spawn so far away. But that's okay, because I got evade, because of how Heal broken control. it is. Heal control. Heal contested. Heal control. Heal contested. Heal move. Kill control. And yeah, I saw someone uh, ask about like if they could join. Uh, this is this is the last game, but if we do this again someday, you just basically you'd have to just download the demo and search with us at the same time and get matched. Alright, but <laughs> I'm like going somewhat try hard at trying to win this. I'm totally abusing the uh, evade. And like this is totally why it was like removed. I wish it was to 50 points. I'd probably be able to win it like right away. Heal move. I either need to. I'm pretty sure it's the 75 points for free for all. There's no way it could be 100 points. That'd be ridiculous. So I either need to get to 75 points or stay in the lead for. Three minutes forty seconds. Heal control. <clears throat> Heal move. No. Heal control. Heal contested. Heal control. Just the fifty point mark, but. Not a winning score. Heal control. Heal <laughs> control. Heal move. Heal <laughs> control. <laughs> this is a pretty fun game, actually. <laughs> I wish MCC had like more free for all options. I feel like free for all is not very, it's not very like popular on uh, MCC. Get any more points from the hill. No, someone's catching up. Hill move. Hill control. Hill control. No, I'm five points from losing first place. Hill control. And uh, Raspatino, what's your question? I might be able to answer it because I'm like. Trying to kill. win this. Heal control. Heal contested. Heal control. Oh, got him. That, that's four points away. Heal control. No. 
Actually, yeah, Flashing Moss did this to me too in um, Destiny Crucible the other night. I was like doing so well and then he took my first place. Ah. Wow, that, I only got a few points from that. One minute remaining. He'll move. Ill controlled. Ill controlled. Ill controlled. Ill contested. Ill contested. Ill controlled. Ill controlled. Oh my god. Thirty seconds. It's gonna be close. Ill move. Ill controlled. No, it moved right where he spawned. No, 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 no. No, not me. Don't kill me. Oh my god, it's probably getting in a tie. Unless I can get back there right away. Ten seconds remaining. Oh my god, I just need one point. One point. No. No. Ah. Uh, wow, tied for first. Well... It put me at the very top, so I count that as a win in my book. <laughs> All right, so I'll, I'll count it as a win. <laughs> Good enough. Close enough. <laughs> and uh, Jason, thanks for uh, dropping by. Hopefully you had fun, and uh, we'll see you in the next stream, hopefully. But that was pretty intense. That was fun. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna stop searching there now. Been at this for over three hours now, so uh, way over. <laughs> but that's uh, gonna wrap it up for the stream. And once again, I want to thank everybody for stopping by. It's been fun, and yeah, it's been a blast reviving the Halo Reach demo. I, I was actually, I'm pretty happy that we got enough people to actually run lobbies together. I was. Before I, before I started, I was actually worried that we wouldn't have enough people to uh, do this, but we do, and we had a lot of fun, and hopefully uh, tomorrow, someone at 343, whoever like keeps on the servers, hopefully they'll be in for a little small surprise that we revived the population and caused like, a spike in the servers. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, I see people ask me to dab. Ah, mm, do I really want to dab? Before I end it? Alright, fine, I'll do it. <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, dab. There you go. <laughs> Alright, I did it. <laughs> Happy now? <laughs> so, anyways. That wraps it up for the Halo Reach demo. We've revived it. Uh, if anybody's still searching out there, if you really want to keep playing, go for it. Have fun. But, yeah, that about wraps it up. And... Oh, wait, the... the um... Did someone actually manage to get the armory thing? I I, I saw um I saw Isaiah say something. Oh okay yeah Tariq got it. Um, were you able to go into the armory, uh, Tariq? Did it work? I'll actually stick around for like a minute. I want I want to see what happened. If he was actually, yeah. Uh, hold on like uh, five more minutes, guys. I want to see what happened with uh, Tariq if he actually managed to get the armory. If he did um. Post a picture of it real quick, or or s send it to me in a DM. I'll, I'll like check it out. I'm actually very curious if it worked or not. <clears throat> yeah, uh, Tariq, what happened when when the armory popped up? Were you able to go into it or access it? <clears throat> well, while well, I wait for his response, uh, some people um. A lot of people like came me a lot later, so you guys might have missed my epic pun at the very beginning of the of the stream. So um, <clears throat> the uh, oh, Tariq said nope. Wait, so what happened when you press go to armory? Like 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 what what actually happened? Did it give you like a message, or did nothing happen? Or did, did you not like get the chance to go into it? <laughs> and while I wait for his response again, the pun that you guys might have missed at the beginning was um. What do you get when you mix a cat and an owl? A meow. Get it? <laughs>
Get it, guys? Because, you know, a cat meows and owl goes owl, so meow. <laughs> I see Jack has a pun there. What did the farmer say when he lost his tractor? What did he say, Jack? <laughs> Last pun, I guess. <laughs> Where's my tractor? Oh, well. <laughs> Terrific. All right. Oh, I see Tariq's response. Oh, he wasn't able to. Oh, oh, it didn't do anything. Okay. Well, I guess th I guess that's what I expected. That would have been it. Would have been really cool if we were able to like go into the armory and like somehow like glitch the demo and unlock armors or equip different armors, but I, I, I didn't think it would be possible. But now we know, so I guess that uh that answers that question. No need for a whole separate video on if we could change our armors in the uh, the demo. But all right, so that wraps up for this video. Everybody, thanks for stopping by. Hopefully, you all had fun and enjoyed. And well. To always end up our, as we always end our videos. If you did enjoy this and found it to be interesting and fun, make sure to leave a like, uh, leave your thoughts in the comments, anything else we need to check out or look into, or, you know, um, we're still taking suggestions for games that are dead for future streams to revive. So you can let you can DM those to me on Discord or Twitter, or you can tell it to A11 as well. But aside from that, anything else you need to check out, feel free to let me know as always. And if you guys haven't already, of course, make sure to subscribe so you can um, stay up to date with our latest videos and, of course, future streams where we revive other populations for dead games. And, uh, <clears throat> well, that's basically it. So have a good night, everybody, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.